Hello, everybody. <laughs> She's taking forever. Hi, Boo. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> oh my god, welcome back to Celeste. We're in the core. We're in the core B side. B side, core side, stair. What's the stair? Why are you staring me? Staring me? Oh, it's a it's a it's a thing. Why isn't it showing up in the chat? How did my how did my chat readout know what you were doing? But the actual Twitch chat did not. That's interesting. That's kind of fun. How's everybody doing? Welcome! I need seven TV? Well apparently not, because my my chat readout thing knows what that is. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this game. Love the hair. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, no, thank you guys. It's, it's, I gotta say, when people are here at the beginning, it's always very encouraging. Because I feel like the beginning is always the part that I'm the most nervous. And so when you guys are here, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be fine. OBS knows everything? Well, no, my chat readout isn't through OBS. It's through some fucking thing. Ah! Well, don't people leave. No, don't do that. Oh shit. Don't do that. Boo. Fuck! What am I- what am I- you can't just people leave. Whoa, that was interesting. That was a controller situation. Oops. Okay, I didn't jump. <laughs> That's helpful. Oh my god. Ah! Fuck. I don't know- I don't know if we're gonna, um... Oops, god, I didn't jump again. How are you guys doing? Were your days good? Oh shit, I need to put my phone on silent. Oops. Oopsie doopsie, get away from here. There we go. Now it's quiet. Oh god, fuck! <laughs> Are you guys excited for more Celeste? Aren't you- <gasps> No! Bell Bell is on your shoulder, so you're pretty good. Also, one week off of work! Fuck yeah, oh. Fuck yeah, dude. This is horrible. Why? What? Oh, I see what I have to do. No, I don't like it. I don't want it. Ah! Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Okay. Ah! Why? <laughs> Why, game? Oh, I have to get back to that cube. Ah! No! I wasn't high enough. I have to get on the cube but be at the very top? That's so mean. What does Bell Bell mean? Bell Bell is- Bell Bell is Kevin's- one of Kevin's three pet bunnies. And Bell Bell and him are, are buddies. Ugh! Because Bell Bell's mean to the other bunnies. Or doesn't- doesn't like the other bunnies. Ah! No! But it's the name itself? Oh, 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 oh. My bad. Yeah, I was like, I feel like Boo knows this. Calm Trues! Hello, Sophiga and Sophie followers. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. We are. We're all here having a wonderful time. Except for that one guy. He's not. He's here, but he's begrudging. No! Shit. Also nice that I chose suffering today. Right? I feel like I feel like I should write a book. I feel like I should write one of those like inspirational meditation books, but it's all bad advice. You know when they're like, they're like, when you wake up in the morning, you can choose happiness and calmness. I feel like I want to be like, I've chosen suffering every day of my life and here's why you should too. <laughs> Number one, Twitch. Number two, fuck you. Nothing, it's short for Bellamy? Bellamy? I didn't know the full name was Bellamy. Step one, take up cigarettes. Step two, smoke them, but don't enjoy it. What, 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 what? We did it. That was cool. Whew. I don't have anxiety, you have anxiety. Whew, thank you. Thank you for that. Oof, shit. What? <laughs> Hi, Sophiga and people. Hi, Birdie. Birdie is here. 
Sofiga's Compendium of Bad Advice? Oh my god, that's the title. And Comtrues, Comtrues, you're now the publisher. Thanks for the cheer. What? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Huh? What? what? Okay. Uh, they want me to be dashless, I think. I think that's what they want for me. In my life. Shit. This is hard. Alright. Oh, what in the- Huh? Huh? Who? Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, there's a little green guy down there. <gasps> green Panther! Hello there. I think you were the person that was talking about all those weird questions. Dashless and maidenless? Yeah, dude. I'm gonna die so that I can be, like, timed correctly, because I think that they- Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say that they usually set it up so that if you run straight away, you're, like, good, but I'm just, just kidding. They didn't- I, I mean, actually, I do think they did that, but uh, I just think I'm bad. That is the difference. Why? What the fuck, man? Also, why am I maidenless, boo? Can I be maidenless? I'm- I don't know if I'm technically a maiden, but I'm maiden adjacent. Fuck. So, I don't know. Okay, maybe if I go a little lower it's easier? Like... Alright. I think? Here's what I think. That. Ha! Ah, okay. Whoa! Alright. Don't worry, you're not here for those questions? Okay, good. Haha, <laughs> because... You know. You're just passing? Alright, cool, man. Look! I get a pass today. I don't have to- mm -hmm. Maiden adjacent? Aha! Uh -huh. ah, ah, fuck. Fuck, I should just go. I just need to go forward. I just need to go forward. I think this is not that bad. I think I'm just- Oh, wait! No! I got it! And, and I died. <laughs> no. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. I'm fine. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. Alright. That's okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. God, this is so stressful. What? What? No! I need to save that. I need to save the dash. I just don't know how to get out of there. I don't know how to get out. Wait, I got an email. <gasps> Alright, cool. Guys, there was- Ah! There was a liver! There was a liver tonight! And I just got an email, the liver's cancelled. So, I mean, that's a bittersweet thing. It's not- not great for the patient, but I don't have to be there in the middle of the night. So that's fun, I guess. Fuck! <laughs> ah, okay. Oh god, oh god. What? I went through the bottom- Oh! Oh, I understand. I understand. I get it now. Did the liver say something bad? I can go up through the bottom. Or is that just there to be mean? No, that's not helpful. That's just there to be mean. Okay, never mind. Oops. Did the liver say something bad? Oh my god, it got cancelled? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, it was saying some really- oh, What am I supposed to do? I need to- Um... What? How do I get out of there? Yeah, it said some really strange stuff. No, on Twitter. I think I'm canceled. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. What? No, but I want to live. <laughs> I want to live! <laughs> No, it was just poor delivery? Oh my god, boo, what the fuck? You can't say things like that. Everyone cancel boo for being good at puns and putting me to shame. Oh, snap. Yeah, I agree, Birdie. The liver is an Andrew Tate stand. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in any of that. No. <gasps> what? 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 Does that make sense to everyone else? Ross! Hello, Halo! Halo! Well, hello 
to you. How you doing? Welcome. What in the... Does anyone see how this is supposed to happen? Boo, you have a Celeste mind. I'm recruiting you to tell me how to do this. Because what? How do I get out? Apart from those games, have you ever played Far Cry games? No. I've never played Far Cry. What? You bowled some strike two hours ago and you got 10k views on Insta already? Hit some algorithm, I guess? Dude, ride that algorithm. Get- save a dash to go up the spikes for height? What? Save a dash from where? You think I can use one dash to get over there? Really? Oh, maybe. You avoiding going through the spikes? I mean, I was thinking that maybe- I was thinking that I might be able to do that, but- Alright, that was interesting. Um... Like, I can't- one dash? Like, how am I gonna- you know? How am I gonna do that? Like, maybe if I'm lower? Uh, no. There's no way. There's no way. I'm gonna say that that's completely impossible. I think it's safe to say that you need to use both. Gotta get a perfect bounce if it's possible? No, because there's not like special- like, there's not like special bounce height that you can get. It's like one- it's kind of like a fixed- Thing. I feel like that's not it. I think I have to do that. Damn it. That was stupid. How do I save enough of these little- oops. How do I save enough of these guys? I've never played any Far Cry games. I don't really even know what they're about. But, I mean, I would play them. I don't know. What? <laughs> how do I get out of there? So I have to, like, because in order for me to move through that space of spikes, I need to have, like, a diagonal row upwards so that I can, actually, no, I need a diagonal row downwards so that I can keep going straight across. But then that means that I need to get onto a diagonal row downwards above the spikes with both dashes. Time it so your head bounces in the spikes without killing you. Like, I think that I need to get over there and then- I don't fucking know. Stay as high as possible? I mean... When- in, See, that- that- like that. <gasps> What's up? More Celeste Matthias! Hello, yes! <laughs> More Celeste. Very successful Celeste playing here. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm the best at the game. They actually were gonna give me an award for being really good, but they forgot. Shit. That was perfect? I don't know how I did that, though. <laughs> I, like, I don't remember <laughs> what happened. You know, when I do well, I just black out, so... That was not right. I think I need to be... I need to be up, up, up higher. Like, right there. Oh, okay, right there. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. I, th I think I did it. No! Oh, I was- I missed that one. Okay, okay. I need to do that and then dash up over that one and dash out. Can't use the diamond dashes at all until the next section. I assume that I can. I think I- I- well, alright. I think that I can use one. I think I only need one to get past that other spike part. And I'm just gonna hope that they weren't like, ha ha, you need a second one later on, idiot, because I can't, I can't do that. Fuck. Right? Like, that's bullshit. They wouldn't make me do that. Uh, that's too mean. That's too mean for this game. Oh, come on. Okay. I just have to catch that one on the way back. Alright, controller, that's fine. Your fat head is in the way, but it looks like a two-dasher. Sorry, dude. It, it is in the way, but I don't think it is. I think that that spike pit, I think you can do it with one. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna just hope that I can, because I think I can. Oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. 
That was my chance. That was my chance to show you that I think I can do it with one. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, fuck, I was way too, way too antsy. That's fine. It's not like this is like a high tension part or anything. So I should really just be totally relaxed. I mean, it's all icy, it's chill. Okay. It's super chill. Well, that was kind of close to doing that with one dead. You'll just be over here not stressing out. Yeah, good. Don't. Don't. Nobody be there, like, stressing out. Too antsy in the pantsy? I mean, no. Just, like, in, like, other articles of clothing? Maybe not in any articles of clothing? No! Ah! Okay. I needed to not do upward. I was trying to do diagonal, but I thought I was gonna die. I think that if I go diagonally up, I'll get enough height that I can fall and dash diagonally up and get out. Yeah, can help me here. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I can absorb your... Like, you... I did it again. The only... Th it's the only thing that rhymed? That is not... true. Can you do a special dash forward? It might technically be possible. Can I do it? I don't know. But it's- it's- someone could. There's a person that plays this game that could do that. Somewhere. Maybe if I... Make a better rhyme, I dare you? Fancy in the pantsy? I mean, does it have to be in the? Why couldn't it be like... You're a fancy antsy fella. Or something like that. Oh, fuck. Or like... Or like, uh, you're an antsy pansy? That's a slant rhyme. I'm okay with a slant rhyme. Fuck. I was trying to get up on that other one, because maybe I could get more height. Not that I think I'm a pansy, but I could be. Fuck. You're not okay with that rhyme? What, antsy pansy? Okay, I'm an antsy chimpanzee. Is that better? <laughs> Fuck. I think that's better. I think that fixes the problem, right, Boo? The antsy chimpanzee. Okay, I need two dashes. I can't get out of there. There's a button? Did you see that button? Did you see the button in the next part? That's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. There's a button here? Don't put a button in the next- I'm a bonobo? Don't- don't- no, no. Those are the monkeys that are known for- for fucking a lot. I don't want to be known for that. There's other much more qualified people that could be known for that. Freaking bonobo apes. There's a store- there's a store that is called Bonobo, I think, and I don't know if it's after the monkey or if the monkey is named after a region, and that's why. But whenever I see that store, I'm like, God damn it, that's the monkeys that I learned about in biology class that fuck a lot. That's all I know. Which isn't like a good fact, but I think it's true. Shit, how do I do this? I'm missing something. They're our closest relative and have never committed a murder? What? How do you know that? How do you know they've never committed very kind creatures? Well, maybe the, maybe those two things are related. No murder and lots of procreation. I don't know. I don't know if those are connected. How do you know they don't murder? I feel like you couldn't know that. Fuck! What am I supposed to do? I feel like I'm missing something. I need to find a way to gain more height without using a dash. I just don't know how I can even accomplish that. You know monkeys for all those other great things like throwing poo? 
Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I feel like... I feel like we always judge monkeys, so I've done that like a bunch of times exactly, and that's just not the solution, so I don't know why I think it's gonna work. They use the hump, like us communicating instead of violence. You know what? I kind of would prefer violence. I don't want someone to be mad at me and do that. I'm not interested in that. I would rather get punched in the face, I think. As unpleasant as that is, I'm not that interested. But, you know, to each their own. They just have a sense of humor. I mean, that's all it takes. If you just have a sense of humor, you won't murder. Fuck. Um... Yeah, I, God, shit. What am I supposed to do? How? I feel like it's unfair for us to judge monkeys for their behavior, because I feel like we always observe monkeys at the zoo, and that's basically like if you put, like, a person in jail, like, and then you were like, this is the human behavior. Like, I feel like it's like, yeah, putting them- okay. That was not what I wanted. Like, putting them in a jail cell in this, like, weird environment, I feel like is gonna make them real weird. I feel like it's kind of our fault. It's like a hug. They don't actually bone. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not saying the other thing. That's- that's completely different. I'm saying, like, literally being, like, dry humped. Like, I'm not- I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that out of life. <laughs> I don't want my- my coworkers to be, like, could you have sent that email? Hump. Like, no. No. I'd rather they just be like, you know, talk shit about me to someone else. But she didn't send that fucking email. Like, that, I would rather, I would rather have that. Like a hug? Why not hug then? Monkeys have arms. Monkeys can hug. Why don't they just hug instead? Shit. What am I supposed to do? I'm really trying to think of like another way to go about it. Yeah, no thanks. You'll pass six feet, please, at coworkers. Yes. Thank you. Also, hi. How you doing? I'm gonna call you Domu because I don't know what's going on with all those da 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 things there, but I like it. But in the wild, and everything people have observed, they have never committed an unalive or another- of another bonobo. Really? That's- I mean, that's kinda cool. That's their- they- they- they, they got some- some peace in their hearts. Boo, I need your super celeste brain. You need to- you need to f figure this out because I can't- What the fuck do I do? How do I get more height? Like, that is as much height as I can come up with. Jump better? Save the two dashes? Yeah, but how do I get there? I need two, you're right, but like, how do I get there? How did I get there? Like, how... you know what I mean? I'm really trying to- I'm really trying to think about it. Which I know, me trying to think? see a way to gain height. I just did it? Well, no, but I need... My butt is gonna be grazing those spikes. It looks like a tight window. Yeah, but I'm trying to think, like... I feel like I do need two, two dashes once I get to that spiky pit. Question. So, what the curse thing points do exactly? Oh, oh, the- the- you curse too much? You mean the channel point redeem? So you can- 
I'll- is that what you're asking? Sorry, I don't want to- Yup. So the, if, if you do the I curse too much, you get to pick what I'll replace curses with for however long it says. I think it's like five minutes? Three minutes? Something like that? Um, so like if you picked like, I don't know, types of chain restaurants, I'll replace all the swears with like, I hop! Now back! McDonald's! Instead of swearing. If you're interested in that, <laughs> can you jump as you land to get a boost? What? Like, you're saying as I get bounced off this thing? I mean, I can get a little bit of a boost, but not that much. I can try. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 I can go up. Okay, 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 you're right, you're right. That, I feel like I knew that, I just forgot that from the last time I played the core. Good call, boo. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever word you want, oh boy. Well, like, it's like a category. But, yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing, like, awful, you know? If, it, if you pick something awful, I'm just gonna be like, pick something else, you know? Oh god. <laughs> Don't facepalm, boo! <laughs> Fuck you. Shit! Okay, 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 okay. I need to just calm down. I'm like, now I'm trying to use that everywhere, because I'm like, oh my god, it's a thing I can do? Shit. It's fine. Just focus. I'm getting very excited about this. The potential- Oh god, I'm stupid! <sighs> Have you been avoiding a simple mechanic that I was doing already? Yeah, I, I was. I mean, I was using it at first, but then I- for some reason when I was trying it in the very beginning, I was like, this doesn't work. And so then I just abandoned it completely, which was not a good idea. Okay, well that time it didn't do anything. I don't know. Listen, okay? <laughs> Got a lot of things going on. Got a lot of, you know, problems, issues situations. Oh my god, oh, it's night and day. <gasps> Hello, new child. How are you? Oblivion pillar crush? Oh, it worked. Okay, good. I was really worried it's not gonna work, because sometimes it doesn't work. I love that obl oblivion pillar crush, man. That's a good one. Fuck. Ah! Okay. Ah! Just ask for a common sense check anytime. Well, this is why I asked you. I know, I know I'm dumb and bad. You think I don't know, but I'm aware. Shit. <laughs> God, chair! My chair is like, like, okay, the wheels on my chair, listen. I have a problem that's not a problem, but I'm gonna tell you about it. And it's just, it's important that you all know. Really, it's really critical. I have a carpet on my floor, and the edge of the carpet is right where the wheels on my chair are on this side. And so there's like this little slope down where the carpet goes to the floor, and the wheels are right on the edge of that little slope, and so when I'm on this side of the slope, I'm too far to one side, but when I hit the slope, it's too far to the other side because it rolls down the slope. So if you thought you had problems, Boy, do I have something to tell you about problems. Fuck, I was holding A, it just didn't work. You, you know, you thought. Okay. Oh, uh, why? Alright, whatever. Yeah, but you think I'm amazing? And I know those things? Do I? Did I? Well, thank you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, you know. I, it's nice to hear it. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. God, there's like a part of me that just wants to skip the button. But I- oh, I wasn't paying attention. But I know that I'm gonna get to the end of the level and then not be able to finish it because I didn't hit the button. But I really want to just be like, fuck you, button. You think I need to press you? I don't- I don't need that in my life. Frickin' button. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, shit! Didn't mean to stroke my ego. You can break me down more if I'd like. I think Celeste is doing a good job. I think Celeste is good at that. I don't know. I don't know if you would agree, but... Fuck. I think it's great. Ah! Uh... Okay. This is definitely doable. This is definitely doable. And not that bad. But I feel like that doesn't mm, change the fact that... You still die. God, I, uh, now that I have the ability to hold- to ability, have the ability, now that I know that pressing A is a thing, I'm doing it when I don't need to and it's killing me. Because I'm just so, like, worried that I'm gonna have to do it. Because then sometimes I forget. Celeste isn't doing it. It's me putting on your- myself when I have to repeat levels. You can't be so hard on yourself? Well, thank you for that. That- that was good. So you said- you offered to bring my ego down and- and you totally- you totally did it. You were like- you were like- It's not that the hard game is hard and that you're having a reaction to it, it's that you have problems in your brain. So just so think about that and be comforted. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you know. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm making myself laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> your, you know, your brain is just... You have, you have serious issues. <laughs> That's what's happening here. Have we talked about your serious issues yet on the stream? If we haven't, I, I'm gonna point it out to you, bitch. Like... <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand here and pretend. Like everyone else. Oh, thank you! Neighbor. I swear, it's only during the stream. Knife guy, yes! I swear! It's fun, though. It, it really gives the stream a whole a neighborhood- ah! Neighborhood vibes. Fuck, that's not what I wanted. What did he say? He said, package at your door. Which I don't- I don't think I ordered anything, so I don't really know what that is, but that's fine. I'm sure it's- I'm sure it's just free stuff from- from the government. Alright! <gasps> Drink, damn you! Thanks, boo! Go get the package? No. It's probably not mine. I think it might be mine, but I don't, I don't think it is. Damn it. Okay. Alright, whatever. Okay, so I have to not hold A on that one, but hold A on the next two. Oh, shit. So I do have to hold A on that one? I don't know. There we go. Oh, oh god, I thought I had a dash. It's all that disgusting licorice you love? Maybe it is. You know what? I have licorice right here. God, I'm like not in the frame. I'm not in the right spot. Fucking carpet! Also, because I roll around so much in this chair, the carpet gets all like crumpled up. Hey guys, you remember that stream where she complained about her carpet a lot? I really enjoyed that. Look. Licorice. There you go. Mmm. Salty. Licorice-y. Delicious. Fuck. I'm gonna ruin that carpet with those wheels. Yeah, well, what's my alternative? I can move the carpet. But... I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It's my damn carpet, man. Oh, come on. Mmm, gross salty candy that tastes bad? It does not taste bad. It tastes delicious. I actually really like it because that's the last box. There were three boxes I ate. The other two boxes and that box is almost empty. Is that the spicy one? No. 
No, it's the salty one. It's salty and chewy. And licorice-y. And it's freaking delicious. Fuck. Yeah, see? Kevin knows. Kevin knows it's good. It was Kevin's recommendation. That was weird. Shit. Life is shit. God damn it. Very appropriate ice cavern music. Hi, Ephemeral. Yeah, isn't it? I like the music in those parts a lot. It's very calm, which is not how I am. Oh! God, it's like, I'm sorry, you were a pixel in the wrong spot, so you die immediately. And that's, and that's just how you have to, like, live in your life. That's the consequence of your choices. Come on! <laughs> Damn, you can only f recommend delicious things that don't have any unpleasant feelings? Unpleasant feelings? The licorice doesn't have unpleasant feelings. It's delicious. Fuck. I knew I was too high on that one. I was like high the whole time. Shit. Shit. Alright, controller. Femoral, don't say anything. <laughs> Every time I complain about my controller when you're here, I just feel immediately like you <laughs> don't. Ah! Okay. Oh shit. What color is the licorice's? Black. It's black. It's black licorice. It's the little IFA. Delicious. Hmm? Don't- hey! Hey! Keep it to yourself there. Keep it to yourself there, bud! Don't you dare! You can. If I saw that corn on the street, I'll tell you what. We would have words. You totally forgot about that Volt Green Lizard controller sitting there gathering dust brand new? Listen, guys. I'm a flawed human being. I don't know how to explain this to you, but it's true. Like, you know how you have things about yourself that you're like, you know what? That's not the best. I'm gonna work on that. Me too. It's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird thing, but... It happens to me. Oh no, you just remembered it tasting weird? What, black licorice? Flawed like a diamond? Or or like a lump of coal. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather be a lump of coal. Because it's more useful. What are you gonna do with a fucking diamond? Besides, like, make make drills for for uh, special purposes because only diamonds are hard enough to drill things that are really hard. You know what I mean? Like, what, yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Put it on a ring and be like, wow, I'm the most shiniest mineral. That's stupid. Who even cares about that? Ah, okay. No! <laughs> oh. If I'm a lump of coal, then I can be burned and and uh, heat, you know, like one one space, one cubic foot of space for like 30 minutes, maybe. I mean, have you ever heard of so much power in your life in one place? You can do many things with diamonds. Hold on. Uh, like abuse people to acquire them, then hoard the diamonds to create a fake shortage to boost prices, even though diamonds aren't rare in the slightest. Yeah, exact. Exactly. What can you do with coal in comparison? Just destroy the entire planet with global warming. That's not that impressive. Who cares about that? 
Oh, you're gonna melt the polar ice caps? Oh, okay. Yeah, good boo hoo, Santa Claus. Keep your coal. Sell the electric paperweight, buy yourself a USB C cable, you useful lump of coal. No. And here's why. Here's why I'm not gonna do that. Because that controller is gonna fucking work. When I ever fucking get around to it. No! <laughs> ah! Please! It's going to work. Xbox uses micro USB, not USB C. Ha! Got him! Got him! Does it? Yeah, this is a micro USB! Boo totally knew it. There's also like an HDMI, mini HDMI one, I think. And like a headphone jack. But yeah, that's. You got it, Boo. Boo knew. See, ephemeral? You were wrong. Completely and utterly refuted. Nothing valid about your statements whatsoever. Oh, fuck you, man. You can write on concrete with coal, kinda. See? See? Thank you, Birdie. Thank you. If anything, you know enough to be an asshole. Or just throw it at someone. Fucking yeah, see, Birdie knows. Birdie thinks like a bird. In that you can you can just you can you can always throw things at somebody. Do birds throw things at people? I don't know. You had no idea? Even the new ones? Well, Let's check. Where did it go? I can reach. Tasty Muffin! Hello! Oh my god! <gasps> Controversy is afoot! Guess what happened? This one takes USB-C. And this one takes mini, uh, whatever, micro USB. Who fucking knew? I didn't know that. Wow, Ephemeral was right! All along! There's nothing valid about your statements. Birdie, don't, 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 don't say that. I'm, I'm building my entire case on your statements. Riveting? Alright! Oh, well, Mr. Interesting! <laughs> Again! I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're bored. I was gonna say that's not my problem, but I am streaming, so it is a little bit, actually. Fuck! What? Scandalous? Birds just drop things on people? You're not hip with it, with the new technology? Well, yeah, clearly. Clearly ephemeral- you know, this is really my fault. I never should have doubted ephemeral. I feel like ephemeral is a pretty much always right about all things. And I know that sounds sarcastic, but it's not. Oh, fuck you, man. Come on. Oh, that's such a hard jump to make. Yeah? You're like a game changer? Oh, yeah. Must be a very recent addition. After watching me play this game, you've decided never opening it? <laughs> but this is like the very hardest levels. It's not- it's not always like this. He's not always like this. I- I promise. You know, it's- it's just so sometimes he gets in a mood and I have a hundred times more patience than you. I think you're just seeing me play very badly and... I don't want you to suffer, I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy your life to the greatest that you can. To the greatest that you can? Yeah, these- there are super easy levels. Well, no. I would say they're all hard, but they're not all this hard. Boo wants you to suffer. That's nice, Boo. That's really nice. That's really nice of you to say that. Ah! No! I knew it was too high. Don't cry. No, don't cry. Boo's just... Boo just gets like that sometimes, you know? You just have to... You just have to, um... Um... Uh, yeah. And that is what you have to do. Fucking... You too? Wait, Tasty Muffin, no! <laughs> you also want them to suffer? Do you want me to suffer? 
I mean, it's okay. I get, I get it. Shit. Shit. You can't be too high, but don't be too low. My god, whatever you do. If you're too low, fuck you. Huh. No! <laughs> no, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Shit, I'm stupid. That was dumb. I could have won. I could have won a million dollar prize and a chance at the title. Mm, what? No, I got the gem and I was dumb. My hubris. Oh, this is wrong. This is really bad. I was not. I was not right. My greed. God, okay. Ah. This is fine. This is fine. I can win. Never mind. Never mind. Just don't listen to me. Reminds you of a lot of Super Meat Boy. You really struggled with that one and you still had your reflexes. Oh, you don't have your reflexes anymore? They gone and reflexed away. All right. The dead do not suffer the living to pass. Wait, what? The dead do not suffer the living to pass. Excuse me? What kind of Edgar Allan Poe fucking drivel is that? What is that? The dead did not suffer the living to pass. What? I might not be an English major, <laughs> but I think I should be able to understand what the fuck you're saying. And I don't. No, you're old? Oh, I see. Back in your day, when you used to. You get slower with age, it sucks. You started noticing it at 27. Yeah, man. That's what happens. You're not, you're not, you're not made to last forever, but I will say, the human body can last through a lot of shit, so don't give up on yourself. Shit, you're 27? Damn, well, it's all downhill from here, boo. <laughs> You'll play this game one day so you can grow as a person? Yeah, man. Me too. Fuck your old... Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, are you millennial? 27? Millennial? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Why do I keep fucking it up? I feel like I'm just, I'm just fucking it up because I can. Like I'm just being a turd. No, no! I'm fine. I'm okay. I didn't just yell no dramatically. It's I didn't do that. That was just like a that was just like a turn of phrase. Okay. When you pressed X twice but you didn't do that because you just didn't. I feel like 27 isn't old, you guys. I just want to say like you're not old. Like maybe you're not you're not not 20, but just because you're not 20 doesn't mean you're old. Like, my god, fuck. I'm good ba- 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 crown noise? I'm the good ba- crown noise. <laughs> I think I saw a muffin and I was like, baking. I'm good ba- crown noise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, tasty muffin. I appreciate that. All I ah, ah. It's all I aspire to be. Even with all the strange sounds I make, I'm still good to bake around noise. Fuck. Oh. And the cursing. The cursing and the strange sounds. Maybe that's part of the enjoyment? Okay, okay, okay. Fuck you! Uh, fuck you! You're making a Celeste map called Dim Starlight, so you don't want to have nothing on, and I'm good background noises, you say? 
You don't want to have nothing on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to have nothing on, man. This crystalline, chill music also helps. It's very true. Also, though, what? <laughs> Hell yeah! I always pull through, yeah, every, every single time. The best bake ground? Yeah, man, I'm a bake ground noiser. What? Celeste! What are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I can just like, fucking- oh, I'm stupid. Ugh. Why did I think I had to like not just do- Alright, whatever. Nothing but uphill from here? Come on, this is easy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know, it's- Okay, I want to- I want to be there- No, I want it lower. I want to be lower on the- There we go. Okay. No, I want to be lower. That is not it. It's hard to get to the bottom of that thing. Okay. Uh, I want to get to the bottom of the case. Oh, I hit the ceiling. I got too far to the bottom. Controller. Excuse me. Hello? Help. Help me. <laughs> what the fuck is it going on? What's happening? Control why? Don't say anything. It's, nothing's happening. There's nothing happening. Come on. Stop! Kevin! <laughs> yeah, I won! You guys didn't see the- the winning that happened? What the- give me the- Game changer? Yeah, game doesn't work. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Why did they do this? Who <laughs> was I doing this? Who made this? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Life. Did you see? That was the most like. Ah. Oh. What? <laughs> Why did they do it like that? Why did they make this game? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm really- I'm alright. <laughs> Are you seeing that? Listen, look at it! They were just like, what if we just made it like- Haha! <laughs> what if we just made it like- Just- Okay. Like, just out of reach enough. That you're completely thrown off and you you lose all your poise for the next part. Like it's just they could have just put it. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh, I was. I didn't have a dash. That's they. Yep. That's how that works. Oh, man. They really. They really did that. They were like, yeah. pointy end of another pencil and I can only like tip the pencil to like rebalance it with my breath like I gotta be like <sighs> and it's just the pencil's like teetering but there's like a sleeping chipmunk like right below 
right below the pencil, and if I, like, knock- knock it over, the chipmunk will wake up? They're really upping the fuck you difficulty? Yeah, they are! Exactly! And what- what hurts so much about this one is that they put that little- they put that little diamond there, like, they're literally dangling it over my head. They're li it, like, just like a dog, like, they're just like, here, dog, jump! Jump, dog. Jump for your treat, dog. No! Oh, you're there trying to balance the pencil for hours? Yes, exactly! But the little chump- the little chump monk. <laughs> the little chipmunk is sleeping and like... If I- if I drop that little pencil, the little chipmunk is gonna wake up and he's gonna do a little angry little squeak at me. He's gonna be like- he's gonna be like- Eep! And then he's gonna run away! He's so cute! Sleeping. Oh god. Ah, ah. I was inexplicably good at balancing the pencil on your nose before. That's true. I did do a good job. Ah. Oh, hey! I think it's cause... So like... I mean, people have a lot of different nose shapes. Ooh, Matthias, thank you! I think people have different nose shapes, and for me, like, first of all, I have, like, the bump, like, the little bump on my nose, so there's, like, a little pocket right there for stuff to sit, but also, like, the bumpy part of my nose is, like, a little bit square, like, right on the bridge, like, the ball of my nose is pretty round, but this bump part is, like, kind of has, like, corners and it's square, so it's kind of good for balancing. So I've, I just have natural ability, I think. I think I just have an unfair advantage. Ah! Ah! Damn it. You know, all those pointy-nosed people, they can't balance- they can't balance anything. Ah, shit! So we could say your nose has a pen- my nose has a pencil holder? Yes, exactly. Some people hold their pencil behind their ear to look, like, smart. Like, they're like, I'm a real architect. I have a pencil behind my ear. Oh! No! No! <laughs> the pain is so real. <laughs> it's so horrible. <laughs> ah, okay, it's fine. Um, those are called nostrils? Oh. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. That's true. Anybody out here trying to be a walrus? Well, that wouldn't really be a walrus thing. That would be more like a... Uh, yes! Fuck you, come on! No! 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 Also, you thought the pencil was in, in my ear? Pencil in the ear was engineers? Well, engineers or architects. I was gonna say engineers, but then I was like, do they do that? They're always on computers now. Like, I don't know if they're ear penciling when they're using, um... What the fuck is that called? The software where you design shit? No! Uh, the 3D modeling thing. What the fuck is it called? Why can't I remember? Shit. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I'm not an engineer. Um, why- why do I keep- I'm like thinking of all the things that it's not. I'm like, MATLAB, soft- like, that- softmax, I'm like, this is not things that it is. Ah, oh, okay. Fuck you! Damn it. Maya? Uh, no. Cat! Cat! Thank you. Yes, cat. Uh, you must never know. You must never know when you need to write something down, because you live in the future. What the does that mean? No, okay. Ah! A what? Ah! No! Fuck you, game! Same for carpenters? Yeah, carpenters! Shit! Oh, that was impressive! Until I die. No! Okay. 
Oh, it's fine. Shit. Um, here, woodworkers always have a pencil on the ear. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I said architects, but I feel like I meant, like, I don't know what the fuck I meant. Okay. People with ear pencils. I didn't know people had so many opinions about ear pencilers and the ear pencil movement. No, for me personally, I don't- I don't tend to hold a pencil behind my ear. I feel like I'd rather just, like, hold it in my hand. Like, I feel like a- I feel like a pencil is one of those things that's easy to, um... I feel like it's easy to, like, hold a pencil, like, between your fingers. Oh. And, like, also hold other stuff. I don't know, it's not that much of a burden to just, like, have a pencil, like, in your, like, pinky finger or something. Ah, oh, shit! Okay. Oh, maybe that's just me. I feel like I have a tendency to hold- uh, hold everything at once. No! Okay. No. No. Ah, 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 ah. What? What? Fuck! No, I can't do that! You think it's easier to hold it in between your cheeks? Oh, wow. It's also an option. Not for the faint of heart, though. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. I can win. I'm doing great. No. Gordon Ramsay keeps the pencil in his ear? He does. I'm okay. I'm really, I'm really, truly fine. It's common at construction sites. Yeah, I guess because you need your full palm to do stuff. I feel like I'm, I tend to be doing lots of like little fiddly things at work. Um, because I work on like livers that are tiny rat livers, so I feel like I'm always- I'm always like fiddling around with little stuff and like surgical instruments and little syringes and things. I don't often need to just like grip a piece of plywood and like grab a drill and you know be a construction worker. Oh you bitch. There it is. No. Ah. Okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh god. No, it's too high. How am I supposed to, like... I need to get through there but not go too high? How was it at work today? Oh my god. Today was stressful. Today was a stressful day. I was just, like, trying to do a bunch of shit between two different buildings. So I was, like, running around. Um, and then... I, I was doing a, I did a, I did a rat liver surgery, um, which actually went really well. They've been, I've been, I'm, I'm newer to it. I mean, I'm, I feel like I've been doing it longer than a lot of people in the lab, but as far as like, I don't know, people that are actually experienced, I haven't been doing it that long. And I feel like I'm, I'm really getting the hang of it now. Like it's really going really well. So that's good. But, um, but then, <laughs> the experiment went well, kind of in a weird way that was actually mysterious and sort of leaves us with questions, because something good happened that isn't really explainable, so that was, that was kind of weird. That ever happened when something is good and you're like, but how? <laughs> Did those rat tube replacement parts arrive? Ew, rat liver surgery, what the fuck? Wait, where do you work? I work in, um, yeah, rat liver surgery, man. I work in, uh, transplant research, so, okay. So I do, um, <laughs> sorry, it grosses you out, Tasty Muffin, I'm sorry. Uh, I work, I, basically I use rats as a model for human work, because I also work with liver transplant patients. So we're trying to like test out new therapies with the rat livers, so that we can give them to people. But we gotta do it on the rats first. What? Uh, did you plant the liver in a rat? No. So, yeah, she grows it and everything. I do not grow it. <laughs> I do 
Do not grow the liver. The rat, well, the rats, the rats grow the livers. She waters it and gives it sunlight. I wish that was a thing. That would be amazing. Actually, you know what's interesting? There's people in my lab. I don't do this work, but there's people in my lab that they're they're kind of trying to do that, like to grow livers. Not like from a seed or anything, but it's kind of interesting. If you could water and grow livers like plants, man, there would be a lot of people that you could save their lives. Fuck. <gasps> Jin! Hey! What's up? How was your stream? Jin did a drawing stream today. If, if, uh, if people didn't know. I was there for a bit. It was fun. Um, being able to grow a liver would be amazing. Is she really out here growing livers? I don't grow any livers. The rats grow the livers. What I do is just, I take the livers... <sighs> I take the livers out of rats, so I do like a surgery, and then I put the liver onto a pump that basically acts like a body. It's like, like can do all the blood flow and stuff. All Gucci, you got a drawing request done? You got a, you got a drawing request, got midway done with it. Fuck yeah, dude. That's amazing. That's super fun. Ah, uh, no. No better way to relax after a stressful day at work than to play Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I feel like I have a very, uh, stressful life, but it's kind of like... I feel like I've been doing it t t too long. Like, I've been stressing myself out. Guy was a bit too horny. For his OC, though? Wait, what? Excuse me? He just really- he just wanted- What? What? I don't- I don't really know what that means. He liked his own content a lot? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Okay. Huh. Um. But yeah, I feel like I've been- I feel like I've been, uh... Putting myself into like very stressful, high pressure situations for a long time, and so now, like when there's the absence of that, I just feel like it's fuck. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. I get antsy, which might just be a little bit the way I am. Pancake, sup nerds? What's up? He kept making comments on how thick his OC was. It was amusing. Oh my god. Dude, well, <laughs> that's- that's interesting. Oh, come on. Oh, you little nugget. Oh, fuck. That's awkward. Well, you can always, you know, you can always ban people. <laughs> okay. Ah, hopefully it was in a nice way. Shit. His orange cat? What orange cat? Also, how are you doing, Pancake? Make any choco tacos recently? Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Damn it! It's not. You're up for the challenge, so you don't mind? Okay, cool, man. Well, that's good. Oh, compliments? Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Boo is, Boo is an amazing pun creator. Oops. He made that pun at the beginning of the stream about delivery, and it was really good. Have I also mentioned- god, now I'm not even paying attention. Have I also mentioned how- <laughs> how Boo is- how Boo is <laughs> such a joy to have in the stream. Also, if Boo was a plant, <laughs> if Boo was a plant, he would be a beautiful orchid. And, 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 he's the type of guy that would, that would ride up to you on a beach on a beautiful horse. And, 
and you would be so struck. Also, <laughs> I'm dying faster than I can compliment you. Also, who is so supportive in the streams? I mean, also talking a lot of shit, but also, this is gonna be a long three minutes! But also, knows how to, knows how to boost the self-esteem when it's needed. Have I mentioned <laughs> three recta? Never heard so many lies in your life? Oh my god, Kevin. Boo is a breathtaking orchid. Don't stop moving. <laughs> also, um, Boo has impeccable timing in terms of using channel point redeems. Not only with being so good at using the um, drink bitch thing, but also the compliment one. Because what an impeccable time, really, to have done that. Um, I'm losing count of how many I owe you. If Boo- if Boo was a rock, he would be an amazing geode. Like, you would just see a rock on the outside, ah, but then- but then you cut into the middle and it would just be a wonderful array of colors. If Boo was a type of refracted light, <laughs> if Boo was a rock, you mean minerals? No, a rock! Boo, Boo has an amazing skill of knowing which things are rocks, <laughs> which things are minerals. Particularly that ice is a rock? Wasn't that a thing that you said at some point? Boo always- <laughs> Boo always has such amazing facts, and those facts are never wrong, and I'm always thankful to Boo for- thank god- <laughs> for bringing those facts into the stream. Can I please? Shit. How many do- oh, you know you want to cut Boo open? Ice is a rock and the ocean is lava, yes? See, it's facts like that that make me feel so happy when Boo is here. Because how else would we all be educated? I have two left. Thank god you're counting because I fucking don't remember. <laughs> Maybe more? I don't know. <laughs> you really got your money's worth, damn it. Um, uh, if Boo, if, if Boo, if Boo was a sea creature, he would be, he would be one of those prehistoric whales that are like super, do people watch documentaries about whales? Anyway, if you watch documentaries about whales, there are these, like, whales that were before whales that are super, like, long and majestic, and they swim around and they're super cool, and Boo would be one of those. Also, also, um, also, I, <laughs> let's cut Boo open and see his crystals. You don't think that's a compliment? What, calling someone a beautiful whale? I feel like that is a compliment. The whales are beautiful creatures, and they're peaceful and smart. I would love to be a whale. If I couldn't be a human, I feel like I would want to be a whale. Um. Boo is so unique. You know you hate the deep sea. Yeah, but you'd conquer your fear of the deep sea by being a whale. Also, can I say something? Can I say something? So Figa delivered those delivered with those compliments. Unlike you, so Figa, am I enjoying this? No. <laughs> if Boo was in the Cambrian period, he would be an Enamolicaris. One more compliment, please. Hold on, I want to explain this point about whales. The prehistoric whales that I'm talking about were not the deep sea whales that we're used to. Because whales used to be land dwelling, they slowly went into the ocean and they were in shallow waters first. So this kind of whale that was super long and, and majestic lived in the shallow bay type areas and hunted with its fellow whales. So it's actually not a deep sea thing, so I think that you would be happy. Um, also, Boo is so brave because because he comes into my chat where where I'm here and it's horrible and I've never seen such a bravery in my life. Um land whales? Yeah dude you like rock pools and reefs? 
Okay, then you would be a beautiful seahorse. I don't know, they're in the ocean. They probably like reefs. They like rock pools and reefs. Please, game. Oh god. Okay. No! Damn it. You're a majestic whale, milady. You're a prehistoric whale fool. I'm not a prehistoric whale fool. I'm a prehistoric whale... Uh... Uh... Fool. F fool. I don't know. I'm a f smart... Smart... Ticus. Ah! Ah! <laughs> they used to be land dwellers who mastered technology and moved to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, dude, they were they were just done. They were just like they were like, yeah, Earth is kind of shitty. We're done. I think you lost a few brain cells, forcing myself to compliment you. That is the goal, though. Drink, damn you! All right, hold on. I mean, it's in the stream title, so I think that we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. The whale thing seems like- seems something you would said when going on a date- Oh my god. Dude, those awkward things that you say on dates that you're just like, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say- No, 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 don't say that! Oh, I'm talking about whales. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right? You're just like, no, 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 no. Ask, ask something else, ask something better. Say something cool, and then you're like, did you know that there were prehistoric whales and they would swim around in the shallow waters and it was actually really cool because they used to be land creatures and now they're, and now they're whales that are, are in the water with long tails. Did you know that? And they're just like, yeah, I mean, no. Like, that's cool. What a cool fact. But that's the thing, is that if you're with somebody that is good, They'll just be like, oh my god, I heard about that fucking whale. I read the whale article. And then you're like, no, I don't actually care about whales. I was just saying that because I was nervous. You'd like to hear about whales on a date? Yeah, me too. And you're talking and in your head you're like, dude, why the fuck are you like this? Yes, exactly! Oh my god, it's so awkward. It's okay, though. I feel like, bruh, if you were on a date with someone who told you that you would either be intrigued... You would either be intrigued or confused as shit. I feel like that's fine. I don't know. I feel like when I when I date, it's like I feel like you just got to let that shit rip, man. Cuz it's like if they don't like you at your whale fact ass talking this self, you know, it's like your brain is trying to just help you weed them out. <laughs> I'm not saying to, like, dominate the conversation with the whale facts, but, like... Also, I feel like if you want to, if you want to, like, calm down, you have to just be, like, patient with yourself, you know? You gotta just be like, well, that's okay, I was talking about whale facts for a bit, and that's fine. Treat it like a fart and let it rip. Yeah, exactly. Like, you gotta just be like, that's, you know what? That's me. That's my whale fact talking to self. And that's okay. Ah! Ah! That's what you've been doing wrong then? All this time? All the whale facts? Don't- Yeah, dude, I'm- You know? I'm telling you. You never farted in front of anyone, though? I'm sure you never have. It's not in your nature to fart. Ever. Not even one time. Seriously though, I don't know. Dates are awkward, and I feel like you have to just let it- you just gotta let it be awkward, and then I feel like it becomes less awkward. If you're just kinda like, well, this is awkward. Whatever. In your own mind, you know? I feel like you shouldn't really say that out loud, but, you know. If you do, whatever, just roll with it. Just be like, that's what I said. That's okay. Fun fact, bird can't fart. Oh yeah, can't they like eat certain foods and like bloat and get really bad? Feeding them rice will actually make them explode. Yeah, we were talking about this. I don't know if it was- I don't know who mentioned that before, but somebody definitely did. God, I gotta pay more attention to this level. Because it's hard and I'm not paying attention. I'm just talking about birds and whales. 
Nah, you hate when you're on a date and you run out of stuff to say? You know any more whale facts? I don't- I don't know. I mean, I know- I feel like I do know a lot of whale facts, but they're not like whale facts that other people don't know. A long time ago when you went on a date with a girl, first time you met her, she took you to a business meeting that one of her friends hosted. It was a fucking pyramid scam. Oh my god. No, that's so fucked. <laughs> I'm so sorry that someone would do that. Like, that's so horrible. What the hell? What in the fuck, man? The girl, too. The meeting went on. They just let us ask questions and you just say, Is this a pyramid scheme? The host wanted to kill you. The girl, too. Well, good for you for just being like, Yeah, nice pyramid scheme you got there. You can't shut the fuck up. Um, also, you probably know this, but whales and other animals like us can experience gas buildup after death and implode. Or explode? Implode? I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah, rot rotting is a process. You never saw her again? Well, good. God, that's so horrible. Jesus. Sorry that happened. You'll tell your facts for one compliment a pop? Okay. Guys, everybody knows the going rate now. Dude, that's so fucked up. I never... I never had a date that the person was trying to do a pyramid scheme. I can say that. I never did that. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there was anything even similar to that. I feel like no. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. You've had really good dates all on that level? Wait, 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 that level of- you mean like really good as in bad? You mean on that level of badness? You're gonna go eat? Well fuck yeah, dude. Eat, eat- I was gonna say eat that shit, but don't eat shit. Eat something delicious. Like a tasty muffin, perhaps. Do you have more- yes, good as in what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I am- I am so curious. If you're willing to grace us with your stories, I- I don't I'ma eat shit, try and stop me. I'm just gonna advise you that you shouldn't, but I'm not gonna stop you. Once you were on a date and her boyfriend arrived! Was she like- Was she like, Oh shit, oops, I got caught. Or was it more like, Okay, so now the date really starts. Here's our proposition. You didn't know? That's fucked up. Had you been on multiple dates or this was the first one? The guy was crying? Oh. Oh no. I guess it's good that he found out, but... Oh my god. That sucks. Damn it. It's not good. I'm trying to figure out how to get like a super boost versus just regular, because I feel like sometimes I get- you felt bad and really played. I mean, you shouldn't feel bad. That's like- she- she did that, you know? That's her fucking issue. You love how hard you make getting that crystal look. Yeah. I like- I like- I like- I like how hard you make being nice look. You make it look really difficult because I assume that's the only reason you talk so much shit is just because you struggle so much. The joy drained from my face reading that? Yeah, it did. It was mean. <laughs> that's what happens when you say mean things, boo! I don't know if you're aware of this fact. That's just how it works. It's a one-to-one -one type of, uh, connection. She just told him to leave and you stayed there? Are you... Are you the bad guy? Dude, I don't know. That's up to you. Um, did you ditch the bitch and take the homie to eat? Oh my god, you should've. I feel like- no. I feel like he just wanted to go and cry. 
and be like, what is my life? <laughs> Alright. Um... You- wait, you stayed? Did you finish the date? Or were you like, I'm gonna go? Did you ask her what the fuck was up? Were you like, so... Or was it just you didn't even want an explanation? <gasps> Remy Cat! I think you have to press the button before you reach the end of the conveyor, but you might be wrong. So, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. Is I'm trying to... Hold, like, so you can either press the button and hold it as you come off. Or hold it before you come off the conveyor. And just hold it and, like, get a boost. But I don't know... Like... I'm not sure if you're supposed to, like... I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Like, maybe I'm supposed to... No. If I just hold it. So I was holding it that whole time. I think that's not better. I think I need to press it at the right time and then hold it is what I've been trying to do, but it doesn't always, like, consistently happen. You finished the date? Oh my god, what? You were expecting me to tell you to fuck off, but instead you I accepted it and you felt bad? Yeah. It's fucking right. Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> um, you finished the date, but it was really odd. She told you he was... He was her ex. You made some... You made some detective work later and found out they still dated. Oh my god. Doesn't seem like her ex. You play some of the hardest games? You could never, lol. I mean, I like to be unhappy, I guess. Sorry, her? No, you're good. I like to be unhappy or something. I don't know. Can, you know. I feel like I also make this game look hard because I play it while half paying attention, which makes it more difficult. <laughs> oh no, damn it. You've only been on dates with one girl. They all went surprisingly well other than us bickering over getting lost go going to a place. Yeah man, I- okay, this was someone I had been dating for a little while. Because I would not go on a first date. Uh, like this, but so we were we were going hiking, and and he rented a car, and we were driving out to like a little hiking spot, and when we got there, when we got there, um, there was like an exit. We needed to go on the exit to go park so we could get to the trail and hike, and he missed the exit. I think like four times. So like we passed it one way and then we were going back and passed it the other way and we were going back and passed it again. <laughs> we went back and passed it again. And uh, I mean speaking of bickering over traveling, I don't think we bickered. I think I was just like, you're fine. Like we're gonna get there <laughs> eventually, you know? Like one of these times we'll get it. <laughs> oh drink damn you. Thanks, psychedelics. <laughs> I just inhaled water. <laughs> I'm also out of water. <laughs> That's so different from experience. You usually get silence. Oh, on dates? Oh my god, that sucks. Ooh, a hiking date? How nice. It was fun. Hold on, let me get more water. I'll be back in a second. super fun and it was nice um we had a good time but it was one of those like like there's a lot of different kinds of hiking i feel like some hiking there's like a wider path and so you can kind of like and it's not as like intense so you can like walk next to each other and kind of chill and just you know have a good time talking and walking but this, this trail was kind of like, 
narrow and very steep, so we kind of had to go single file, like, the whole way. So it wasn't great, because we couldn't really talk that much, because it was just kind of like... You know, you're kind of hiking up, and so, like, you're either just, like, staring at the person's butt, or you're walking and you know that they're staring at your butt. So it was just kind of like... And, like, they can't really hear you, because they're... You're not, you know, you're outdoors and you're not really facing each other. So it was just kind of like, okay. Like, I'm just gonna <laughs> lol, face bomb. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it was just kind of the reality. I was like, okay. <laughs> Your asthma's acting up thinking about hiking like that. It was fun, though. I mean, because you can always, like, stop for a bit and then you go stand and, like, look at the scenery. And then you can talk, but you can't really... You know, if you're just going up these kind of like rocky stairs, it's just like, well, I'll just stare at I'll just stare at the person's butt and carry on. Well, outdoors is nice. You've had most of your dates in bars. Yeah, I'm not really a bar. I'm not really a bar type of person. I'm not a bar type Pokemon. Um. All right, God. I'm really trying. Oh, come on. Come on. Yo. Damn it. You once went to the cinema, and this girl just opened her bag and had a picnic in there? Dude, that's a fucking winner. Are you serious? Hang on to that girl. Like, for sustenance. <laughs> Dude, really? That's a win! Sounds like your aunt. Dude. Like, you know, I'm, there's something that's fun about buying food at the theater. I know, right? Did you wife her? I mean, you know. At least for the, the snacks. <laughs> oh, so, uh, why'd you guys get decide to get married? For the snacks. I wanted- I wanted snacks. And that was where the snacks were. She had all the snacks, so I wanted them. God, why?! I don't understand. I'm- I feel like I'm doing it the same way, and it's just a different outcome. No, you dodged a big bullet? Oh, okay. Was- was- was there something else going on? That sounds funny. She was, like, smart, huh? I mean, yeah, bringing- bringing the snacks, man? Ha! Damn it. You're glad theater isn't that expensive here in Puerto Rico, but in the USA it's not as cheap? Yeah, man. I mean, that's, that sounds nice, but yeah, it's super expensive here. Like, like... Theater snacks are such BS. But I feel like if you're going to the theater, you can kind of just like, you know. I feel like you 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 got you're ready for that. You're ready to go out and spend the money. She asked to be your girlfriend like in the second date, and you barely even knew her. Yeah, second date that's kind of a lot. I mean, I think people may have different. Um, they have different, like, definitions of that word. Like, I think some people take it a lot more seriously, and so she may have just been like, it just means that we're gonna, like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like usually, though, that means, like, we're gonna see each other exclusively. Which, if it's the second date, I feel like that's, you know? Like, you might still be dating other people and trying to figure it out, so that's kind of... The thing is, like, one week later, you see her with another guy- oh god. Well, that's probably why she asked, because she's not great at commitment, so she was like, I want to make sure that you're not doing what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna ask because I'm doing this. Damn it! Ugh. She was just desperate? Oh, I see. I see. Desperate. Shit. Then it ends up being 12-piece wings with a ranch and everything. Wait, 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 what? 
<laughs> she opens her purse and she's got 12 piece wings with a ranch. That's fun. That's exciting. I mean, like, I don't know, if you've been dating for like a week, I feel like it's okay to, you know, date, date other people. Could have been a player with five boyfriends. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Some people, that's their their thing is collect collecting. What am I supposed to do? Ah! How do I how do I jump there and not jump so high? I don't know. You always wait like two to three months for real commitment. I don't know if I wait that long. It depends on the person. But no one is in a relationship until they actually discuss it. I mean, yeah, for sure. I feel like you can, I feel like you can have certain expectations of someone without discussing it, but if they end up doing something that's outside of those expectations, I feel like you can't really be upset. You just gotta be like, oh, this is what I was thinking. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Really, is that the norm? Three months? Oops, you never wait more than a month? I feel like it just totally depends on the person. Relationship hard, self-relationship good. I mean, yeah. Yeah, man. I agree with that. Um. But yeah, I feel like- ah, A great question to ask when you're getting together is, does anyone think they're in a relationship with you? I feel like I don't ask that. Because I feel like- I feel like- I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I feel like people that I meet, I can generally- tell, like, what- how they're living their life, and I feel like if they're living their life in a way that that is something that I'm wondering, I'm not really that interested in them anyways. So it's kind of like, okay, you are not for me. You don't know if it's the norm, but you like stalling the start because there is- that's- oh, that's when they reveal how they really are. You had some bad experiences, some people are really good at acting. Yeah, dude, I mean, look, I'm like the most paranoid. I'm like the most paranoid person ever. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I don't believe a goddamn word that you fucking say. It's like, you can say a lot of stuff. That's fun. That's cool. We can have fun with that and like tell each other things. That's really exciting and great. But like, I don't know. You gotta show me, otherwise I don't believe it. So I just watch what people do. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Whatever you said. I don't care. <laughs> um, when one of your friends moved, she told you she enjoyed being your girlfriend. You never knew you guys were in a relationship. You feel like you never held hands. Wait, 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 what? So wait, your friend... Your friend... Oh! So she thought that you guys were in a relationship, but you didn't do any relationship stuff? So you were just friends? Bad question to ask on a first date. Did you know prehistoric whales lived on land? Yeah, exactly, dude! No, that's a good question to ask. That's how you know that they're that, that, that. That's how you know that they're legit. That's how you know that they're in it for the long haul. Next time you date, you will say that, see? Yep, actions are the real deal. Yeah, man, for sure. It's like, yeah. It's like, how do they handle things that come up? Oops, you feel bad? You guys never held hands? I mean, if you... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know what holding hands, like, what the significance of that is. If you're saying that, like, you did other stuff, but you didn't hold, hold hands. You need to spell check on Twitch, you forget we can't edit comments. Oh, I see. So, yeah, I guess are you saying, like, you f you didn't think it was a relationship, you thought it was more casual and you feel bad about that? Or... 
You're saying that you didn't even know. And you were just kind of like, I guess. Sat together almost every day for lunch so, so you can see how she got the idea. I feel like that's what friends do. Like, I have friends that I eat lunch with. But we're not, we're not in a relationship, you know? No! Oh god, that jump is so hard. Good question to ask on the first date. Have you beat Skyrim on legendary difficulty? Dude, that- the question is... The question is, do you know- with no HUD? Yeah, thank you, Kevin. The question is, do you know what Train Whiz is and how- what are your feelings? Positive? Negative? Anger? Disgust? What's- what's going on here? I feel like you have to- you have to treat a date like an aggressive interview. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Don't do that. You have to- you have to ha come there with like a notepad with questions. You're gonna be like, so. Uh, you know, according to the European Union's latest poll, train whiz is at an all-time low in terms of favorability with the pop with the populace. What are your thoughts on that? In three succinct sentences, explain your feelings about having a HUD on versus off in Skyrim and why you feel that way. You're gonna make a potato bake right now? Boo, fuck yeah, KD ratio on COD. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna have you fill out an application. Um, it's only 10 pages and there are several essay sections that will be timed. Uh, spelling and grammar will be checked for accuracy, and that will count towards your final score. <laughs> we'll let you know what we think after we discuss it with our internal affairs team, and we'll get back to you. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to reach out to our unhelpful phone line that has a robot that will answer it, and we will not listen to your messages. If he doesn't bring an NDA form for you to sign on the first day, he ain't a keeper. Yeah, exactly. No, that's horrible. Don't don't be doing that. Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh please. God, there's so many. Ah, uh, there's so many fucking mechanics in this game. Oh, come on. Which ending did you choose in GTA 5, A, B, or C? Ooh, cheer! Thanks, Lottles! Also, hi! Um, if he doesn't bring an NDA- Oh, we gotta get all of chat to make one. A potato bake? We could have a- we could have a cook-along-at-home potato bake stream. Except that I shouldn't say that out loud. A non-disclosure agreement? Yeah, man. Oh, what's an NDA form? Non-disclosure agreement. Anything that you see, experience, may not be disclosed for legal reasons. I feel like that's really bad. Are we doing an NDA for our Choco Taco recipe? No, well, we were doing it for first dates, but... <laughs> we could do it for the Choco Taco recipe. Oh, might be getting a house in the near future- Holy shit, Kevin! You fucking get that house. You get that house, and then... Congrats, thanks. Yum, Choco Taco. You haven't gotten it yet, but you're hopeful. Oh, do you have a place, like, that you've picked that you like? Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so cool! Fuck yeah, dude! <gasps> Are you gonna have a bunny room? Are you gonna have two bunny rooms? How many bunny rooms are you gonna have, Kevin? God, that was bad. New house party? Also Figus chat invited? Oh my god, are we invited? Kevin! That's so nice of you to invite all of us to your house that you don't own yet. Gonna warn you though, the home loan process is the most stressful thing you've ever done. You can take the picnic girl to the party. Oh, there you go! <laughs> She'll provide snacks! <laughs> For everyone! I'm gonna have two bunny rooms? Yes! <laughs> two bunny rooms! Okay. Heck yeah, congrats. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Kevin's getting the bunny rooms. For the bunnies. 
That's so cute. Why? Okay. Yes, cheers for Kevin! Two cheers for the bunny room, man. One cheer for each bunny room. For the new house? Hell yeah. Oh god. Yeah, no, I feel like if, if you if you have a non-disclosure agreement for a date, it's real bad. Bell Bell is gonna live wherever you spend most of your time and the other two get their own room. Bell Bell's your buddy! Your bunny buddy! God, this this part is so hard. I feel like it's just a bunch of bullshit. Come on, man. What am I supposed to do? Oh, fuck you! Can't let him get depressed. Oh my god, a depressed bunny? I literally can't think of that just sounds so sad. <laughs> Bunnies shouldn't be depressed. They're too cute to be depressed. I mean, that's not a thing, but... Oh. Do you think Belle Belle thinks that you're a big rabbit, Kevin? Or do you think Belle Belle knows that you're a person, but has just chosen you as, as, his, as his bud? I sometimes wonder that, if animals think that. Exactly, that's why you can't let them get depressed? Yeah, dude. I wonder if animals, like, how they think of us. Yes, you think so? A big, ugly bunny? He's like, well, you've got no fur and your ears are really small, but... You're my bunny buddy, so... Oh, damn, this part's hard. Okay. Oh, my hands are getting tired. Elephant sees us like a puppy. <laughs> Maybe they see us as like a tiny elephant. They're like, your truck is weird, but you're alright. But you bring him food and cuddles? Aww. That way he won't get depressed. Bring him food and cuddles. Oh god. Ah! This jump is so hard. I don't know what to do. Like. Ah! What do I do? I don't know! I don't know, damn it! Darn it! That one elephant that killed the woman then trashed her furniture? You love that elephant? Um. Yeah, man. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what elephant? <laughs> Why did it do that? Was she bad? I feel like even if you're bad, I don't know if you should be killed. What the f fuck? Ha! Ah. Oh! Oh, we did it! Furn funeral, not furniture. Oh, I'm sorry. F trashed her funeral. That's my bad. What the fuck? We did it! Thanks, Kevin. We did it! Oh my god, what in the hell? Look at this room! It's not the killing you like, it's the level of spite. Oh, yeah. I feel like if you were an elephant, that would be you. What the hell? You guys see this? What do I even do? Sofiga, do you own the game This War of Mine in Steam? You have a spare key? Or you don't know if anyone in chat wants it? I don't own that game. I don't really know anything about it, so I'm a little hesitant to take your game from you. If there's anyone in chat who's like, I want that game, um, they should, they should speak up or like, you know, say, say something. Mm. But if you tell me about the game, I mean, if it's gonna go to waste, I would happily take it. I, but I just don't really know anything about it. I don't know if I would ever play it and I don't want to waste it. You have no idea what it is, but you like free shit. 
Reminds you of an NES game, Wizards and Warriors? What, this war of mine? I tell tell me about this this game. I wanna know. Look at this room! Ah. It's only a matter of it's only a matter of time. What in the flying hell? Look at this! Yeah? It had a lava level? You can check it later, then. You don't mind if it goes to waste, to be honest. The music was really good. I mean, I feel like... If it's just gonna go to waste, I don't, you know, whatever. But I feel like I'll forget. I feel like I'll forget to check on it. Um, Comptures, are you in the Discord? That game is about playing as victims of wars? Oh, interesting. If you're- if you're in the Discord, would you mind- What? <laughs> you're not in the Discord? Oh, sorry. If you do- if you scroll down, it's there. You can also do- Well, is that not it? Oh, it's info. My bad. Sorry, I'm stupid. Just whisper her the code easy- Oh, is it not working? Of course it's not working. I think all my fucking bots aren't working. My bots are not working. Sorry about that. Um, if you scroll down, it's there, like in in my little next to my name. You don't see it in the pay in the about page lol. If you scroll, there's just a wanted sign. Yeah, no, it's like where my name is. God damn it. It's- it's because the command isn't working. The command is info and it's not working. <laughs> uh, because- it's because I use fucking Streamlabs alerts, which doesn't work. It's- none of it's working, Kevin. Okay, cooking, no chat, play good, you're rooting and tooting for you. Error? See, that stuff is working. It should be working. Is that now not working too? You can't post links. Oh, there! Okay, it is working. I didn't hear the sound, though. It's not good. Yeah, I don't- Fucking god. I swear, I get so frustrated because I fucking- I put the time the error worked! I didn't hear the sound, though. I saw it come up. The sound didn't play? Yeah, I know. Alright. See, now I'm frustrated because I put a lot of time into this shit to make sure that it works. And I test it a lot because I get frustrated because I'm like, if it doesn't work when it needs to work, then what is the fucking point of me putting the work into it? Okay, so I just shut down the thing. Let's see, will it work now? Oh. I didn't hear it. Why? Why are you doing this? Okay, it seems like it's working. Yeah, you're not allowed to do links. Okay, it is- that- that's working. There. It's going. You're gonna join? Oh, an incognito? Oh, that's weird. Hold on, let me see if I can fix the bot. I'm so annoyed. I have to stop using the Streamlabs thing. I've been meaning to switch it all over, but I haven't yet. Because literally the Streamlabs thing just doesn't work half the time. It's really annoying. I don't know if I can even reset the bot right now. Commands. Why does it say I don't have any commands? Why is it saying I have no commands? I have commands! Oh my god, all my commands are gone? Oh, well I'm glad you found the... <laughs> I'm glad you found the Discord. What the fuck, game? Not game. Oh, deleted all my commands. Okay, I have to stop using it. I have to stop. Because it also doesn't work. It- I- it's a, oh. It's what I use to do my, um, the follower notifications. And those also, like, are super broken, even though I put the fucking time into setting it up. I shouldn't complain about this. It, it, it's not that important. <laughs> oh, but it frustrates me. Kind of close once, dude, so I don't really. I don't really know what I did. I don't really know how I did this. It's kind of just.
just the clusterfuck. Oh! Damn it. I hope you found the Discord com trues. Anyways, if you find the Discord, put the put the game there so that I will remember, because otherwise I will forget. Did my Skyrim YouTube upload get fucked again? Oh! Oh god! <laughs> That's another thing. Here, let me, um... Let me see. Did it finish processing? It did! Wow! Yeah, so it was, again, it was the same thing. Here, well, there we go. It was the same thing where it was processing the HD forever. Yes, you're hacking your way into the Discord. I'm sorry you have to hack your way in. <laughs> I'm sorry. It shouldn't be like that, but you know. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, the HD was taking forever and I don't want to uh, put the video public when, when the HD isn't there because otherwise the max quality is like 360p and then everyone's just gonna click it and be like, um, this is absolute garbage, what the fuck. So, you know. You sent me the key? Oh, thank you. Okay, well, I, I don't know if I'll, if I'll use it because I, I, uh, if I don't want the game, I want somebody else to get it, but how long until it expires? How did I get to that other one without using a dash? That was kind of cool. I can't repeat it. Oh, that was close. Okay, if I go for like a second and then... Yes! Damn it! Okay, never mind. I feel like there's a very small window to get that to work, and I don't know if I even need to. I don't know if I need two dashes. You think it doesn't expire? Oh, okay. Well, sick, man. Okay, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up, like that. Shit. I think that's better. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, man. There's so many fireballs. Did they have to put this many fireballs in this part? Like, there's enough fireballs. That's not what I want. It's 100% what I was doing with the controller, but it's not what I wanted. Jump when the flame is on the spike, you think? No, I think I have a way that I can do it. I think this... works. Oh. Okay, I need to go straight across right there. Oh, I did it again! I have to go straight across. I don't know if I can even make it, but... That was too slow. So close! Yeah. I don't know if I need the... Yeah, I guess I don't need the other dash, because... Oh, fuck. Alright. How did I get there? How did I get over there? Oops. How do I do that? Do I have two dashes at that point? Oh god. No, I only have one. Oh, I feel like I need two. There's no way for me to get to that platform without using at least one, right? Like, there's no way. Right? Like, I have to do that. other side of the spike thingy and jump off of it and then dash and hope that that's enough? I just feel like that's not going to be enough, like, at all. Not even a little bit. At least this part isn't longer. I feel like they could have made this, like, twice the length and it would have... it would have fit in with the rest of this shit. So at least that's kind of nice. Appreciate the things you have in life. Because sometimes they're they're not as sh shitty as they could be. 
Damn it. You know. Okay. How do I not immediately get killed, though? Because I feel like I immediately get killed. I don't want to immediately get killed. But I don't know how to not immediately be killed. Shit. This is like a puzzle. A stupid, a stupid puzzle. A stupid puzzle with a bunch of fireballs. It's like a puzzle, but there's fire everywhere. You know when you're just trying to do a jigsaw puzzle and then the puzzle is on fire? Why? Oh, I lived, but I thought I was not gonna- I don't know. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I thought I could just- I thought I could just be like Harry Potter and just live. I wish that you could do that in games. I wish that you could just pull a, like, I want to have lived at this point, so then you just do. God damn it. Okay. Not that I'd want those powers in real life. Because who the fuck would want those powers in real life? Above those fireballs? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, why? I'm still so upset that all my commands got deleted <laughs> on the bot. Oh, why did they do that? I just don't know. So the game is a survival where you have to keep alive a group of civilians trapped in a city in wartime. You have to scavenge for food and resources, and there are several random events events that can happen to you. You have choices, too, that affect your ending. You haven't played it in a while. It was pretty good, to be honest. That does sound interesting. I kind of want to play that. Okay, I think I'm going to use that, that, that key, man. I, uh, no! Ah! 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 So close, I guess, but I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to. Do. I feel like I'm not doing it right. Like I feel like it. Uh, I feel like it looks like I'm doing a lot of stuff, but I feel like I'm not doing a lot of stuff. I don't think if there's like another another path through here, like a way to just. Fuck you, man! Come on! You gotta fucking- you just- I'm going in a circle. Can you stop it with that? Do you- do, do you have to, though? Is that so necessary that you go in a circle all the time? Like, please! <laughs> so annoying. Fuck, man. You just read- you just read, it had a lot of new content added. Oh, you just read, sorry. <laughs> Wrong tense for <laughs> new content added. Well, maybe you should find your play it again. Ah! Da, 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 da. You should play it again, man. Fucking god damn it. Okay. If you don't want it, you can def host a giveaway in this channel. I mean, I- yeah, if I don't want it, I would 100% give it to somebody. I would give it to the person who wanted it the most. Ha! Ah! Which would be someone. God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to find different paths through. Oh, I'm sorry, Domu. You can't post links. What is that a link to? Give it to Boo, he deserves it. You want it the most medium. Can you have it? Well, I have to decide if I want it first, Lottles. But I have to say, your reverse psychology approach does make me want to give it to you. <laughs> that perfect jump earlier. Oh, is it a clip? Wait, did you post a clip? 
because there's you can put clips in the Discord, which I would be able to show you if it fucking was working, but my bot decided to eat its own self, and so now it's not. It's not a bot anymore, it's a not. It's a useless pile of bones. Lol, please don't give it to you? Okay, well, what the fuck, man? Oh, you see? Yeah, it's a clip from my stream five minutes ago. Oh, okay, cool. Well, there's a, there's a clips channel in the Discord if you want to put it there. If you don't want to put it there, you can put it wherever you, wherever you feel like it should go. No! I feel like I was doing better before, but... Okay, I should just go there the way I was going there before. Oh god, I forgot what I was doing, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No! Bomb dash. Like, this is effective enough at getting me to the place. I just don't know how to live at that last part. I feel like maybe I just have to- Okay, you posted in the Discord? Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If people want to go see the clip, they can go to the Discord, which you can find <laughs> possibly, difficultly. It was how I first did the jump without boost. Oh. I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious how I did it because I don't know if it's important that I do it without the boosts. Let's see, what happened? What happened here? Okay, I did that, and then... Oh... Dude, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I can do that again. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't fucking know. But that was close! Okay. Yeah, that was a nice jump. It was. I made it look really easy. I feel like people that can play this game well can hype, can can make it look like a different game. Like, they can just make it look like you can just do fucking anything. I feel like some games, they really, um... Right? I feel like some games they really let you feel like you can move really well and like you're floaty and you can just fly around the map and you're super graceful. I feel like this game I feel like if you're if you earn it, you can be like that, but you have to fucking earn it. You got to the end of the B-side, think we can classify me better than the average Celeste player? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, I don't know the average Celeste player, but I feel like there's people that can, like, really make this game do whatever the fuck they want. And I feel like I just have to beg the game <laughs> to do what I, what I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, please, please, Celeste, pros are always humble, and so am I. <laughs> The pros in me are good at humility. Except there I go bragging about it and ruining it. Um, the whole street's water got shut off because of a leak. Fuck! What? Can you still make potato bake? Ooh, no! Your water? Shit, man. Are we almost to the end of this pour because... I feel like we should be. I feel like we're not, but we should be. God, I feel like we're in the beginning still. Fuck. Yeah, you can do potato bake, but you have some... You have some TMI if you want? No. I'm guessing that's toilet related because you don't have water, so I'm not interested in that. And if it's not toilet related, but it's also gross. Also not interested. You've barely progressed. So you don't think so? What do you mean I've barely progressed? I assume a lot? I mean, 
if it if your water got shut off and it's TMI, I don't know what else it could be related to. You think boom at tomorrow? What? Oh, tomorrow? Some TMI? But you have some that doesn't make sense though. I have some tomorrow if you want. You th what did you mean, Boo? I don't know. I'm assuming you meant too much information. Because that's what TMI usually is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if I assumed it was toilet related. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I assumed that you were writing TMI because that is what you wrote, but you were trying to write something else and I assumed that you were doing it. Maybe he wrote TMI and meant TMR? You have some tomorrow if you want. Yeah, but that still doesn't make sense because how, like, if I want, if he has potato baked tomorrow, it doesn't matter if I want it or not, I can't have it because he has it, not me. Right? You will not be clarifying at all. I know. I know that. Lol, boo. I'm <laughs> pretty sure he meant DMT. You have some DMT if you want? <laughs> Jin, I'm going with that. I can't make potato bake, but I'm doing DMT if anybody's interested. I want your DMT. It's fine. Fuck. I don't feel like I've barely progressed. I feel like we've done a lot of core levels, ha <laughs> ha I feel like we've done a lot. I don't think that we're near the end because I remember, like, thinking back to the core, there were a bunch of sections that were like... Like, sections where you have to rush and, um, climb up stuff, like, in time. And we haven't done any of those yet, and I feel like the B-sides try to parallel the real levels. So that's why I don't think we're near the end, but I feel like we've actually done a good number of levels here. Fuck. I don't know how to get past that end part. I feel like I need to get there at a different time, but... I just don't know how... to do that. Maybe I can, like, jump off of it as soon as I land on it, and... and then do it? That was interesting. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of better. I jumped off of it immediately. So are you still making potato bake, boo? This is what I want to know. If you have no water, don't you need water to, like, wash the potatoes and stuff? Fuck. Can you land further down on it? So it makes me go up later? I can try, but it's kind of hard to, like, pick where you land. But I could try that. Potato bake is happening, you're taking a break. Oh, okay, cool. Well, fuck yeah, man. I want potato bake to happen. Stop trying to make potato bake happen. It's not gonna happen. See, that's just what goes on. <laughs> that was like the lowest I can land, just about. Here's a good question you can ask in a date. Did you know Scrub Daddy can peel potato? And then you just launch into an entire infomercial. And then you start being like, but wait, there's more. And you just slowly start pulling more and more different kinds of Scrub Daddies out of your pockets and or bag until the entire table is filled and you're just like, but wait, there's more. And you just see how many scrub daddies you have to take out of your pocket and put on the table before they literally just walk out. How many scrub daddies would it take? And then however many scrub daddies it takes is the measure of that person. 
<laughs> They're quality. I have to be honest. If that happened to me, I would fucking stay. Sophia's pyramid scheme. I would fucking stay there. Okay? You rinse the tater and cut the eyes off already? Oh, nice. Oh, I did the jump again. Well, fuck yeah. I died, but I did it. It's not a pyramid scheme if it works. Yeah, exactly. If, if you end up marrying the person, it's not a pyramid scheme. Just a regular scheme. If somebody, if somebody had more and more scrub daddies, I would be there until their very last fucking scrub daddy came out. Maybe you should be the one doing it on the first date and not expect it to happen yourself. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Almost makes me want to go on a date just to do that. Big brain moves. God damn. I just show up on the date with an enormous duffel bag and they're like, what's that for? And I'm like, don't worry about it. I feel like then I would leave. If somebody did that, I would be like, mm, no, I'm gone. I'm gone. Goodbye. If somebody shows up to a date with a duffel bag and says, don't worry about it. It's, it's over. It's way over. I would be like, oh, that's cool. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Never come back. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Um, the worst thing is you gotta mix it all by hand and then you gotta go outside to wash your hands in rainwater. Don't you have a hose? <laughs> Do you have a hose in your house? <laughs> hose it off, man. You don't need dates that would take you away from our friendship time. What friendship time? Is that a quote from something? Ah! Damn it! Have you ever done the go to the bathroom and leave thing? Me? No. I've never- I have never been on a date where I was legitimately scared of the person. Um, if I was, then I would do that. I wouldn't- I wouldn't do that if the date was going badly. Like, if a date's going badly, number one, I'm kind of a curious person and I'll usually ride shit out. Like, I feel like if it's going bad, I'm kind of just like, how fucking bad is this gonna go? As long as it's safe. If it's, like, not safe, I'm- I'm out. I'm gone. Um, but if a date is going bad and it's bad and I don't want to be there, I feel like it's a much nicer thing to do to just be like, Hey man, I think I'm gonna head out, you know, I hope, you know, it was, nice, it was nice to meet you, but whatever. I'm gonna go do my own thing. I feel like that's more what I would do. I wouldn't just be like, wow, this is so great, haha, -ha, and then just go to the fucking bathroom and fail. I feel like I wouldn't do that. Friendship time equals chatting while you die frantically in games. Oh, yeah, okay. I like that name for it. That makes it sound like it's a nice thing. Ooh. Alright. Would be... Would be going bad if he went on and on about Scrub Daddy? No. No, definitely not. Going on and on about Scrub Daddy? I mean, that's more social skills than you're gonna get with a lot of guys. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. <laughs> I feel like it could be so much worse than that. Um, no. Going bad would just be like... Like, I feel like... I feel like a bad date is more like, I don't feel safe or like comfortable with this person. Like, I feel like they're gonna try to do something, you know, that I don't, whatever. I don't know, like that's kind of where I'm, that's like a bad date, that's the bar. That's like bad. I feel like if it's just, if it's just a regular person that you just don't get along with, like, I don't know, whatever. That's not a bad date. Worst date you've been on, you took her to a restaurant and she sh said she ate before therapy and proceeded to tell you about her hit list and what her mo and that her mom was outside watching? You were so- Her hit list? Did I miss your ho- A hose? Okay, with what water? Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Good point. For some reason I thought that, like, it was just, like, house water, but yeah, the hose is also connected to the city water, so- you're right, I'm stupid. Good point, Boo. For some reason I felt like the hose comes out of somewhere else, I don't know. That's horrible. The mom outside watching? The mom watching, that's something 
it hasn't happened to you yet? Dude, that's rough. The mom is watching? Like, oh god. I mean, in terms of moms and dating, so this, this, uh, there's somebody that I went to middle school with who we were friends, and I think that he had a crush on me, and that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, but I wasn't that interested in him. And then he moved towns, and, like, we didn't see each other for, like, high school and college and whatever. And then his mom and him moved into the house directly across from my mom's house after college. So his mom was, like, renting from our neighbor, and so, like, you could walk straight out of my front door and walk into their house. Like, he was, like, right across the street. And, um, I was like, oh, okay, whatever, fine, like, we were friends, who cares? Um, but I think that he maybe still had a crush on me, and, um, his mom proceeded to ask my mom every single time that she saw my mom outside, like, coming back from the grocery store, or coming back from work, if she- if my mom would ask me if I wanted to go on a date with her son. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I was like, bro, are you for real? It's like a play date. It's like, what am I, 10? Can my mom ask your mom if we can go on a play date? I was like, bitch, no. <laughs> Proxy asking on a date. And to be fair, to be fair to this, this guy, I have no idea if he asked his mom to do that or not. He may have not asked her. He may have said, mom, don't. Like, that's so embarrassing. Don't do that. And she just knew that he was interested, and so she was like, I'm gonna give, you know, the other mom a nudge to get them together. But, oh god, I was just like, mmm, nah. -uh. <laughs> Wait, these things really happen? You read stories like this on Reddit? The mom watching? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. You never got a lasting date from online dating. All your long-term relationships have been from a more organic buildup. Yeah, online dating is tough. Online dating is really hard, because I feel like you- it's like a numbers game, like, you kinda just have to, like, crank through as many people, like, it's like- it's like you're auditioning people for, like, a fucking role in a TV show. It's just like, okay, say your lines. Can you say them- okay, could you say them again with a little more or whatever? Okay, next, thanks. Like, it's really, I don't know, kinda dehumanizing, in a way. Um, they really do happen. It definitely can happen. But yeah, you kind of you kind of have to just like keep them coming. Keep, you know, just just talk to people. Just see a lot of people and just be like, "Okay. That's nuts. Sorry that happened to you." Yeah, dude, that uh the the mom watching on the date. That's fucked up. Your brother's friend had a crush on you to kind of creepy level. You were avoiding it. And while you were sitting there, your mom said, he's not interested, but still wants to be friends. Whoa, wait, what? Dude, she just fucking went out and said that? Yeah, to her face. That's kind of, while you were sitting there eating, that's kind of, yeah. I feel like it's like, don't, you know... So awkward, yeah. Like, don't get, you know, don't get in the middle of stuff like that. I feel like you don't know, like, what people have said to each other or to that person or, like, to their other friend who's then told you that they said that. Like, I feel like it can look so innocent and then it's just, like, you know, it's not what's going on. Yeah, that. Ah! Oh, that was a little bit close. Fuck, man. Alright. Um, I once... Speaking of- speaking of moms making it awkward, <laughs> I once, um... Fuck. You always told your mom you were gay so she never bothered you to do stuff like that? Dude. Next level. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, no, I, my, so I was once, I once went, like, I was hanging out with a friend of mine who was also, like, kind of an old friend, and, um, we were just, like, walking around, and I think it was kind of like a date, but I don't really know. I kind of just wanted to be friends, but it was, like, you know, whatever, I guess. Like, you can... I don't know. I was kind of like, okay. I don't know. And so then, um... So then, like, at the end of... You know, we were walking around, whatever, and I kind of decided, like, alright, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to, you know, whatever. But I don't want to make him feel bad. Um... One tip, you can let go of the grab button for half a second to kind of buffer your movement on the rail things. Slug in a tub! This helpful. This very helpful information. Thank you for this information. Um... But yeah, so I was, I was basically trying to be like, okay, like, cool, like, we walked around and hung out, like, see you later, like, good to see you, that was really nice to catch up, like, okay, bye, go away please, like, I'm good. And my mom was standing right there, and he was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm kind of hungry. I don't know, maybe I'm going to go get some dinner to kind of be like, do you want to get dinner with me? But he didn't ask that, and I was just like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to, I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. I'm not that hungry. I'll see you later. And my mom was like, why don't you guys go and get dinner? And he was like, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Ah! So then we went and got dinner, and I was just like, ah, Mom, please! I was trying to, like, be polite and be like, okay, like, you know, not just be like, I don't want to get dinner with you, but just to kind of be like, okay, like, really nice to see you. Great. Let's not. But it was just, it was just, that's what happened. Um, you were also in a relationship for two whole years, and we didn't realize you were dating until after you broke up. What? How does that... How does that happen? You just never talked about it? Uh, well, moms are like that. When you ended up... When you ended up... Ended up or ended your last relationship, her mom texted you. We met and there she asked you to please, please come back to your ex. Oh my god. I mean, look, I gotta say, like, no hate on moms. I feel like... You know, like, they just love their... Their, their baby and they're trying to like you know they're just like she's so heartbroken I but like it's so oh god it's like no like girl stop no this is not this is not where you're supposed to be like this is not what's happening you gotta love moms yeah man okay I gotta think about that tip slug in a tub you're right you're right that's helpful how that slug got in a tub, I'll never know, but I'm- I'm thankful that it fucking did. No! I was too low. Yeah, thing is, her daughter had cheated on you, like, twice, small detail, lol- yeah, that's fucked. I feel like if- did the mom know that, and she was just like, give her another chance, she's changed, like, I would be like, listen. I know you love your- your daughter unconditionally, and that's great, crawled, like slugs do. Do slugs crawl? I feel like they don't crawl. I feel like crawling implies legs. Um. Yeah, I feel like it, I would just be like, uh, oh, girl, you need a reality check. Like, your your daughter needs help, okay? And not from me. <laughs> ah, no, I was trying to let go, but I was so close to the bottom that I thought I was gonna fall off. Okay, that kind of worked. I died, but it was kind of a thing. It kind of helped. Shit. Okay, okay. You're glad your sister's happy. She and her girlfriend have been together for three years now and going strong. That's fucking great, man. Dude, you gotta fucking, you know, you gotta find those people. You people. Snails and slugs are famous for their tenacious slime by which they stick so firmly they can crawl up side down on their under- on the undersides of objects? Yeah, but is it crawling? I guess it's not slithering, because that's like a snake. I just feel like to crawl you have to have legs. Like, when I think of a creepy crawly, I don't think of a slug. 
But maybe the creepy is like the spiders? Are spiders creepy? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. I don't know, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No! Ah, damn it! Oh, that was close. Fuck, okay, that kind of... Oh, God. I feel like that gripping and letting go thing is helpful but really hard to control. Her mom didn't know. She was kind of implying that you were leaving her because of your selfishness, which meant her daughter never told her the truth. Oh my god, whoa, Lottles. Um, yeah, dude, I feel like- cause also, like, moms want to see the best in their kids, and if she's a cheater, then she probably has issues with, like, lying, so I'm not surprised to hear that. That really sucks, though. I hope that you could tell the mom, or just tell her to fuck off, I don't know. Like, in a nice way, but... Okay, Waddles. So you guys worked together and spent all of your days, uh, your off days together, and pretty much did everything together, and you weren't dating each other, dating- and you weren't dating other people because you would visibly get jealous of each other when the topic came up. All our coworkers kept asking about your relationship, but you never really thought about it. Then you had one night, you talked about it and realized that you guys had been dating for two years, but you refused to put a label on it because your lifestyles were so different and it would never work. Oh. Well, that's kind of sad, man. Well, I hope you could, like... I don't know, yeah, I guess if it's not right, it's not right. But it seems like maybe you were doing it and... Ah. Oh, fuck. Ah. No, no, damn it! Fuck! It seems like you were, you were maybe like, you know, like not exploring other options that could work because you were in this thing that couldn't work, but maybe you could have given it a real shot. I don't know, that sucks. Life is full of those like decisions that don't have a right answer, you know? That's really rough. At least you guys can have a nice time together, I hope, and just enjoy that. Do snails and slugs walk or slither? They do not slither, like, say, a snake. Yeah, but they don't walk, either. No bacon for potato bake? Boo, I'm sorry. You need the bacon. You guys uh, are still friends, and you're dating other people, and are both happy? That's great. That's good. That's a happy ending to the story. I feel like that's what needed to happen. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, god, it's so tough. Oh, it's so tough. According to Google, slug walking can be described as creep, crawl, and glide. Okay, glide, I'm, I like. You told the whole story to her mom. Good for you. Get the fuck out of here, lady. Keep your illusions to yourself. No! Damn it. Um... I'm glad you guys are happy, though. That's nice. Also, this sounds sad, but at the same time, not so sad. You don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's bittersweet, you know? Because it does sound really nice in a lot of ways, but also, like... I don't know. There's something sad about... Ah, fuck! Shit! Damn it. There's also something sad about... Really kind of liking somebody that you can't be with, you know? It's very melancholy. Your reaction to the no bacon was very blasé. You'll let me have another go. What? Excuse me, my reaction is my reaction. What the fuck are you hoping for, man? Whoa, 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 what would you like from me? I would like a pony, please, and $3,000? <laughs> Could you do a dance? I'll accept- I'll accept, uh, monetary rewards. Oh, yeah, what the fuck you offer me, man? Come on. More sympathy? Dude, it sucks. I said it sucks. I think it does. But, also... Shit. Also, you can, um... You know, it'll- it'll give you a chance to... give you a chance to- alright, the door's closed now, so it might get a little sweaty. Might give you a chance to, you know, do a twist on the recipe that you never knew was gonna be good and find out that it's actually good. 
take it as an opportunity, man. You know? You wouldn't mind 3k dollars, please and thanks. Oh, for your house. Right. Kevin needs house money. No, no. Ah, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, it's so annoying. I feel like I'm looking for, like, the perfect opportunity and... Oh, I need to maybe just go for one that's, like, fine and not perfect. Potato salad with apple slices is a thing? That is true. Potato I like potato salad okay. I don't love it, but I like it. Boo is making, like, a hot, baked, cheesy potato thing. You know what? Apples might not even be that bad in that, in potato baking. It would definitely change the profile of the dish. Bad. I'm just thinking about it. I don't know, it might be bad. Somewhere in my brain it sounds good, but maybe it's because I'm hungry. It's a bit bittersweet, you guys never fully explored it, but you're glad you ended things maturely. Yeah, no, that's that's nice. Don't you dare, sacrilege. Well, now I'm gonna try it just to spite you, boo. I think it actually might be good, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's good that you guys ended things maturely, but... Yeah, it is bittersweet. That's exactly what it is. It's like, hmm, you know? But it seems like you guys knew what was right for you both. Don't knock it off until you try it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Look, Boo, if you're gonna put your recipe out there, you're gonna have to live with the fact that some people are gonna take it and do their own shit with it. I feel like I have this entire level down, I'm just like not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Shit, I forgot. I forgot to wait. It's just such muscle memory for me to not wait, which is not the right way to do it. No, it wasn't. Um, I hate that how like I learn how to do it wrong. You will knock it. You've never tried cheese grating your belly, but you're gonna knock that too. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, Boo, but I'm pretty sure it's you who has a rule about life that you try everything three times. I think that that was you who said that. So, I'm expecting you to cheese grater your belly now. Because... Otherwise, you don't live by your principles. Nope. Okay, well. Not you. That is you. You did say that. You've said that to me multiple times. But, you know, that's okay. Pull the logs. I don't need to pull any logs. Don't ever ask me to pull logs. Fuck! Oh, god. I feel like I was able to stall before on there. Pretty well. Okay. Oh, fuck you, man. Come on. This bullshit. I went for it, but I didn't have enough lift, and I feel like I knew that. I needed to be lower. I needed to be lower on the thing. I needed to be lower down on the thing. No. God, oh, that wasn't right. That was so close? Yeah, but it, it wasn't. I knew it wasn't right. It wasn't gonna work. And I feel like I've had opportunities like that before, but I didn't take them because it just... It's not gonna happen. I need to time it so that I'm below, I'm below the fireball that's gonna come around and I can get up before the other one gets there. You think that the bittersweet comes from the lost opportunity? We all have a story like that, wrong time, wrong place. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, everybody kind of does, I don't know. 
I don't know if I have anything that dramatic though, because I feel like that's kind of a long relationship that wasn't really a relationship, you know? Cage you up, you're gonna start thinking stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like, you know. Oh, I shouldn't have waited. Oh, that was stupid. I'm not trying to like re <laughs> you know, re bring up old shit. Fuck. Oh, it's hot in here immediately. God, closing that door really sucks. Camera's gonna overheat, guys. I'm gonna overheat. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, sir. Fuck yourself. Lol, can't think about the what if. You've been with your girlfriend three years and you've definitely moved on. So you, you definitely moved on. Yeah, no, it's- I feel like it's... I feel like, yeah, there's always gonna be stuff like... I feel like one of the things that I do well in life, but obviously, you know, there's- you, you get presented with different challenges and so... I don't know how I would do in those circumstances, but I think one of the things I'm- Hindsight is 2020. Yeah, dude. One of the things I'm good at is just kind of being okay with the way that things happen. Um, because, like, you know, everything that happens, like, there's something that you can learn from it, and there's an opportunity that you gained. Woo! We did it! You game. There's an opportunity that you gained from from losing that, you know, and there's things that you gain, thanks for the cheer, by doing it. So, as long as you don't spend almost $300 on Uber Eats for a girl, I mean, if she's worth it, I guess, thank you guys, thank you guys so much. You may linger a bit too much on the past. I feel like I tend to not. Um, I just tend to be like, well, that's the way it happened, and... I did what I did, and I could have done this or that, but I, 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 that's, that's it. That's what I decided to do. That's how I did that. You know? Not at once, but you definitely have wool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it depend, depends on the person. This is fucked up. Reality is so overwhelming to understand sometimes. I mean, if you start thinking about everything, every small coincidence, in the path that took you right here, right now. I mean, yeah, there's a mil- There's a million possibilities in your life, you know? There's so many things every day that we don't do. Well, <laughs> um, your last relationship lasted six years and then she took a trip to Sweden with 10 other guys. You'll keep your bunnies, oh. That's sad. You would be a millionaire right now. You could have closed Sofiga 7's tab and you wouldn't be here. Yeah, man. Everyone has that option at all times. <laughs> um. No, but like. God. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Um. That sucks, Kevin. If you'd closed my tab, maybe you would be a millionaire. Because you wouldn't have been so distracted. What? You can leave? Yes, Kevin, you didn't know that? <laughs> Is that why you're always here? You feel that all your other long exes cheated on you? Definitely it takes it out of you. But the stream is really cool. Thank you. I do it for people to enjoy it, you know? That sucks. That's so rough, man. I feel like I'm... We've been released, guys. No! <laughs> you feel that? Comma for the pause. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Shit, they're all gonna leave! <laughs> what am I gonna do then? Fuck, what was I gonna say? Um. Oh, yeah. In terms of, in terms of, like, making a million choices at a million moments, Fuck. Oh, fuck. I should've... Shit. Um, one of the things that makes me feel, like, better about that is that, um, if you ever, like, hear stories about people with 
short-term memory loss, like temporary, not permanent, because that, that will change things. Like, often if you put them into the same situation over and over, like, they'll respond in the exact same way. Like, they'll say the same thing, they'll make the same joke, they'll, like, make the same remarks. I feel like, not to say that we don't have, like, choices that we can make in life, but, like, moment to moment, I feel like it feels like you go in your head and you're like, I can say this, I can say that, I'm gonna say this. And and you think like, oh, if that had happened over again, I would have chosen something else maybe. And you might have, but like, oh fuck. Um, and you might have, but like, I feel like it's less of a choice than it feels like. Like, I feel like you're gonna pick the same stuff often. And it's not really conscious. It's just kind of that your mind will, like, justify it after the fact and be like, yeah, that's- that was- that was what I did. Have you ever thought you're the problem? Nah, it's never your fault for getting cheated on. Yeah, boo, what the fuck? <laughs> Definitely not. That's fucked up, man. No way. Like, you know, some pe people, like, lie and cheat and it- it happens and it's- yeah, I feel like you can't... I don't know, you can't blame yourself because, like... You know, even if you did something wrong in the relationship, holy shit, you're doing the first part so clean, I am not. <laughs> um, also, your cultural context and the society itself keep you in your tracks. Yeah, it's also true. Like, the way that I think about making changes in your life, because I'm not trying to say, like, oh, you can't change anything that you do ever, and so you have no power in your life, and you're just this passenger, you know, within yourself. I mean, more like, um... Like, you can- I think you can make changes by, like, accumulating a lot of little decisions. Ah, well, ah. Weird. Um, God, this is hard. This place is... I feel like this is near the end, though. Um, and I feel like you can do, like, a lot of little stuff to, like, push yourself in the direction, you know? Um, also your cultural context, yeah. No, but uh, about cheating, like, I don't know, like, even if you did something wrong, I feel like it's, like... I feel like it's like, there's so many ways that another person can handle that, that don't, you know, just devolve to like, whatever the fuck, like being a liar and being a bad person. You know, like if someone's really doing something in a relationship that makes you feel, you know, whatever, or pushes you in that direction, it's like, you always have the option to communicate that and be like, hey, like, this has been happening in our relationship and I, you know, I want to find a solution or, or I don't know if I can find a solution and I want to, I need to do something else. Like, there's, there's, I feel like there's not really a fucking, like, not really an excuse. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, It's pretty weird. Damn it! Oh, I need I need my dashes. I don't, I was wasting them just to get to the button, man. Wait, what? Oh, I need to jump on the things. God damn it! Yeah, big changes with everything that you have to do at once are difficult. The best approach is what you just said. Yeah, it's like little stuff, you know. Like if you. I don't know. Like, if you wanna... Change your career, right? Like, I feel like you shouldn't just be like, I'm gonna quit my job and fucking get on a boat and go and I'm, and I'm gonna be a painter. Like, I feel like you gotta be like, no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy an easel. And then I'm gonna paint, like, one painting after work and see how I fucking feel about it. And then I'm gonna you know, join an artist's group and talk to other artists and be like, what do you do? And, and like, just, you know, take it slow. You don't need a fucking... Just incremental shit. 
Also, you have to deal with some consequences. Um, in terms of, like, making changes in your life. Because, yeah, for sure, I mean... Oh, shit. Uh, uh, uh. When it happens to you multiple times, you really do question whether or not it's your fault. So you've made it a big point to keep communication as open as possible to see any issues in your relationship. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good, it's a good idea. Like, I feel like, yeah, communication is like the most important thing, you know? Because there's always gonna be, like, I feel like the, oh, shit. Um, I feel like when when stuff like that happens to you or when it happens to someone else, I think because it makes people nervous, um, like, because when you see something happen to someone else, you think, like, oh, God, I don't want that to happen to me, you know? So I think people tend to, like, blame it on, like, oh, well, it was just that person and that situation, and I would never be in that situation. But I feel like it's, like, you need to, I don't know, like, you need to be honest with yourself and it's like you know none of us are perfect and like we're all gonna find ourselves in situations we never thought we'd be in and I feel like the biggest thing is just knowing how to like be honest before it gets to a point that's like really bad Fuck. Um, you know? and, and yeah it's like to communicate that because you never know when it's gonna be your relationship or your situation that, that you're in. It's not like you can just be immune to ever having to face these kind of things. You've been thinking that, you've been thinking what the fuck did you do wrong, but it's just the psychological condition that the cheating person has done to you. I mean, that's also true, like, there's definitely manipulation and, like, people will try to mess with your head, you know, to get away with something, and it can be really damaging and, and hard because it's like you want, you know. When people do that, they often take advantage of like your best nature and your best self and you're wanting to have faith in somebody else and so. If you cheat, you don't care about the other one. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's a pretty selfish, uncaring thing to do. But, you know, on the other hand, like, not to say that you need to make that if you have, like, a problem, it's someone else's problem, and that, like, it's okay for you to make it someone else's problem, but, like, you know, some people really do have, like, stuff going on that they need to deal with, that they haven't dealt with, that can push them to do something like that, or to not have a good coping mechanism to resort to something like that, so. You know, I don't think that it means that you're necessarily, like, a bad person or a lost cause or something, but it means that you definitely have a lot of work to do on yourself. Remove some more of the ice before you switch to flames. No, because I need the ice as, um, well, oh yeah, that's a good point, I guess, because it's like, then it's not an obstacle later on. There's a lot more nuance than that. There is no black and white. There are abusive relationships where they can't communicate or get away. I mean, yeah, that's definitely true, too, like, where you, yeah. I think, I think we're talking more about, like, if that's not the case. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of- there's tons of situations where people feel trapped and they feel like... It's the only thing they can do, and like, I feel like... It doesn't justify it, but I feel like you can understand. Or just be understanding of what someone else is going through. But it depends on the situation. Man, I feel like we can. I feel like I can do this part. This is hard. But it's doable. Damn it. Oh, I waited too long. I need to just go over there. At least this beginning bit isn't that difficult. I mean, sometimes it's a little fucky, but I feel like it's not that bad. What do you mean you're doing so good on this part so far? Oh, thank you. It's just because there's not that long left in the stream, so I don't know if I can do it uh, today. 
Oh, I want to get to the end of the course so bad. I wish I knew how many levels were left. Because then I might just push to finish it. But... Oh! No! No, 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 come back! Oh my god, you little bitch, come back here. Ah! Yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whew, that was cool. Cam, get ready. Oh my god, yeah, right. <sighs> this part's gonna be so fucked. Oh, I don't wanna I, I don't wanna start a stream with this. No. Oh god. <laughs> Look at it. This is horrific. I'm so scared. Oh god. These levels in the regular core were so hard and so just bleh, and push through Kevin no. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing it? It's fucked up, man. Look at this. Uh, look at it. Look at it. Look at this nightmare. Horrible. Horrific! God damn it, man. Come on. My spirit's crushed. My spirit's crushed. I don't want to do it. I don't want to and I can't. <laughs> I'm protesting against Celeste. Oh, fuck, man. Come on. Can I get the gem, like, once? I did it! What? What? No! Oh! Oh, I feel like I was at the end! I don't like that. Oh, I feel like that was the end right there. I don't know that that's the case, but I feel like it was. Like that little conveyor belt right there? Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna fuck it up. Uh, oh good lord, I agree. All right, just fine, I'll press X and I just, I did. Guys, I didn't press X, okay? Let the record show that all my complaining helped somehow. <laughs> I don't think the complaining helped. I think it just is. I think it just is that way. I think I just do. sure keep telling yourself that? Wait, I complained? Yeah, you learn to block it out after a while. <laughs> it's for the best. Okay, okay. <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you, game! Fuck you, game! Roasted! Smoked! Smoked! <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> I did it! I feel like this is an ad for, like, instant rice. <laughs> and it's ready in just three minutes! Oh, you know what? Okay. I feel like they put this little thing here for me to do that. It's not good. I feel like they- I'm gonna die. I think that they put that there for me to just do that. Speedrunner? That's me. 
So Fika speed runs Celeste. Okay, whatever. Just don't hit the button. That's fine. All right, I'm dead. And I'm dead. Oh, fuck me, man. Shit. Oh, come on. Listen. Listen. Sometimes in life, sometimes in life, you just have to quit while you're ahead. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Wait, what? That was it, though. That was what I needed to do. Fuck. Ah. Okay. I'm fine. Ah! ah. Alright. I'm fine. I'm okay. Really, um... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. Ah! <laughs> it's so hard because I have to get on that one and then immediately change direction so that I can hop up those. Okay, the time is off. And I'm just not able to do it. Oh, man, come on. Give me the little icicles. Ah! Oh! <laughs> All these noises? I have to... <laughs> I have to use my guttural utterances to get me to the top. That's how you climb the ladder in corporate America, and it's how I'm gonna climb these fucking Celeste levels. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, no. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. I'm not okay. God, it's like addicting. When I do a level really fast, then I'm like, I can do another one. Ah! No. Oh, I thought that they were gonna be, like, pleasantly spaced so that I could just go right up. But they weren't. Thanks, Celeste. Thanks for not spacing those pleasantly. Oh, guys, we might have to leave this one for next time. Oh, man, the core. The core. The core is such a place. It's such a place. God made for a place such as that. Oh, there we go. Big face. Blech. Well. <laughs> Should we end the stream before the camera melts down? Maybe, right? Well. Everyone. I hope that, um, I hope that you all had fun. And, um, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed Celeste. I'll be back Tuesday with Fallout New Vegas, a new fucking game. You like how I made the sun brighter for August? I didn't. I didn't make it brighter. <laughs> I wanted to accept the compliment so bad, but it's literally just because my camera now can do correct colors. Um, thanks for stream. Always do have a good night. We're free. Yes, you're all free. Class dismissed. <laughs> Gilbert goes to Vegas. I don't know, so that's the question. Should we have it be Gilbert, or I think we need to make a new character. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you all for being here. I hope you guys had fun, and, um, Sophia with the big iron on the hips. What? The big iron on, on his hips? Sophia with the big iron on his hips. That's me. You have a lot to think about? Oh yeah. Everyone does. All your past failings or not even. Have a good night. All right, everybody. No, major concerns. You'll understand when you play New Vegas. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. I like surprises. Good night, everyone. Hydrate. I will, I will. All right, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Peace <coughs> out. Bye. Whoa, bless you. All right, bye. Peace.